<clears throat> nah, it's a bit of an issue. Um, it seems Restream broke for me. I could not connect to my own Restream server. It's running. <laughs> I just quickly did the debug check over here. But I did not see what's going wrong over here. Not quite sure. There was no update for this, so it should be fine. Maybe I need to update it. Who knows? Is it running Glyph LZMA? Probably. <laughs> uh, I'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, I can't restream to, to YouTube today. Can I cancel the stream somehow? Pum, 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 pum. Stream health, edits. Maybe if I just go back. I don't really want to delete it. I kind of want to cancel it. <laughs> Can I just cancel it? Quick, cancel Bolt Viking. There we go. Yeah, that'll be forever. Good, 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 good. Oh, too bad, too bad, too bad. All right, all right. There we go, there we go. Technical difficulties, is really a stream about them? Uh, the thing is usually like, like, and that's the thing that's, we're probably gonna be discussing a whole bunch about testing and what we can do better in the future. Because one thing that you can't really do in, in streaming is like, hey, maybe, maybe just like an hour before the stream, maybe test it. We just gotta assume that everything's gonna be right, right? Right? Now, <laughs> the moment you hit that going live button, you kind of realize, nope, shit's broken. You got like five minutes to fix it. Fuck! <laughs> well then, well then. I guess today we will not do any YouTube restreaming. But that is fine, that is fine. I mean, we already have enough stuff to fix today because there was an update! And that update fucks everybody! Including you! <laughs> Wasn't it going online without sending notifications or something in the past? Wait, really? There's a thing like that? I might need to take a look at that. I might need to look into that. I mean, at least this, this setup over here, I can at least debug locally. Um, because there is a debug mode. But, well... <laughs> debugging takes time. Usually it usually goes quite fast, but debugging does take time. There we go, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Good old technical difficulties. All right, uh, before we start ranting, uh, I'll just grab myself a drink. <laughs>
Put it over there. There we go. Ah, there we go. There we go. But you know what was the best part about everything? Yesterday. <laughs> like taking a day off, an actual day off without being sick, without feeling like ill or anything like that. Just having like a day off. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Good, 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 good. I mean, Wednesdays is all for streams, but usually on Wednesday, I do end up doing other stuff. <laughs> ah. And of course, the whole weekend was filled up with random family events I didn't want to go to, but well, can't negate those. <laughs> the whole weekend was pure stress. I can imagine, I can imagine. Families, man. <laughs> They can be so fucking annoying. Here we go! Lictor, hello there. <clears throat> Good evening, Twitch, and welcome back to this still working factory before we do the update. I can already see this over here. Oh, this might break. Oh, this this will most likely break. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if they actually fix their own shit once we update. Nevertheless, welcome back, everybody. Happy Easter if you celebrated Easter. Happy anything else if you celebrated anything else. Happy whatever you call it, because we are going to be playing some Factorio. And again, sorry about the YouTube side. The restream is currently borked today. I'm not quite sure what's going on over there. I will have to take a look at that uh, after the stream. At least it's an issue on my local side which I can fix on my local site, but discovering an issue like five minutes before the stream is not really that useful. <laughs> Audio junk! Hello there! Thank you so much for the resub. All right. Update. Let's go. Now, there was an update, and I'm still not quite sure if it's an April's full update joke or not. I did check the discords, and it seems people's bases are borked, but there has been an update here that breaks fucking everything. Are you talking to Stepstream when Stepstream isn't even online? Yes, sorry, Stepstream, you're not even online. Today we can make fun about Stepstream because Stepstream is not there today. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, um, there were a couple of fixes over here. Actually, the things I kind of mentioned last time around, that there was like no codex page for nuclear power, they've added that now, really, really nice. Uh, they've also updated the Steam Power Codex pages, probably because of the Steam change they did in here. And they changed the Mox Reactor to return to Mox Reactor and pick up instead of a normal reactor. That was also a thing we kind of noticed last time around. I'm pretty sure those bug reports already came in from somewhere else before that, because those were quite obvious. But I'm very, very happy to see that these fixes are in. Good. Core processing. Uh, added Pi achievements. Um, I think those were already in. We will check them out afterwards. Fix the crash with the Pi Codex, I don't care. Added the custom Pi Milestones preset for the full Pi AE setup sheet. I think we can still change those. We will have to take a look at those. Um, fix the misspelling of transmission as transmission. Is that differently spelled? <laughs> oh yeah, there's an end missing. <laughs> In the AM FM Beacon page. There we go. Was it already the past update? Um, maybe, I don't know. And then added the pass-through pipe connection to the soil extractor. Now, I'm not quite sure if this breaks stuff yet, because I've not really seen uh, anybody say anything else about this one yet. Uh, maybe the old pipe is still in there, but... Soil extractors can now pass water in between each other, which is good. Um, it might cause issues, which is going to be bad. And this might actually break stuff. This one over here, I'm not too sure about, but there is one more coming up. That's going to break us even more. Good evening and thanks for the entertainment since 11 months. Yes, Mike. 11 months ago, you were an absolute sad man. Today, you are, well, hopefully not a sad man. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. At least I could make 11 months over here go by in an iffy. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Added pass-through pipe connections and shifted input pipe connection to the side of the pressure pump. Basically, you sh the pressure pumps used to go like this. Um, you got like one side, which is the input, and the other side, the opposing side, is the output. That's not going to work anymore. It's now at a 90 degree angle. And the pressure pumps are being used in every power plant. The pressure pumps are being used in every 
uh, vacuum build. The pressure pumps are used in every kind of build that requires pressurized water. They broke my fucking nice island. I can already tell you that because that was a direct connection. And I'm not even quite sure if we can fix that or not. Um, but this one over here breaks a lot of shit. Like, it's insane how much stuff this breaks. But vacuum has no input. Simrock. But vacuum now has a pass-through pipe, which means the other side now is open for connections. There could be a pipe on the other side. The vacuum pump has now a pass-through connection, which means it will push out into two, diff uh, two different sides. And if there's a pipe on the other side, which you place there because you could, well, there's now vacuum in there. Or something else. Who knows? Um, yeah. Things are broken. And who will build factories that badly? Everybody. Absolutely everybody. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right, there we go. But yeah, this this is going to break a whole hacking load of shit. And then this one over here. Uh, also, interesting things are happening in the background. Um, added some basic compatibility with Galdog Manufacturing. <laughs> Galdog is pretty active on the Pi Discord. And um, he's definitely trying to make his own mod pack compatible with Pi, which is great. Um, which means maybe at some point in time when we maybe go for Pi Tour 3, we maybe even add Galdog on top of that. Good, 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 good. I made the backup of the mod folder. So if we do kind of break everything, and if everything is completely super duper broken, we can roll back. There we go. Good. Off we go. Off we go. There we go. But yes, um, that, that breaking change, I mean, was it that hard to just add a second recipe, which has the new behavior, and keep the old one? I mean... <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of hard to fathom that they just break shit like that, and those pressure pumps are everywhere. Like like there's there's so many builds out there that require them. I mean it would be so. E I mean the change of the pressure pump, I do like it. That at least it's a good change. So that at least makes me less mad about it. But would it have been so hard to just like add like just a second recipe, uh, where we which we could use as a as a temporary um uh, over overput. This is why we don't update mods once we start. Uh, I'm kind of curious. I'm, we're kind of we're going to look over here to see if they updated their panels over here because I'm pretty sure they did not. Well, like just give just give us like a second recipe which we could use, or maybe even integrate it into like an advanced recipe where you can go like here. You get the first recipe at the beginning. This is fine, and then later on you get the second recipe and you go like here. This is even better. All right. Any pressure pumps in here? No, not yet. Not yet. Maybe they're hiding outside. <laughs> oh, this is so horrible to do. All right, show me a pressure pump. I'm pretty sure they've broken their pressure pumps in here. Any pressure pumps in here? Not yet. There's an oil burner in here, at least. Also, they got a regression on an old bug in their pressure pumps. We'll be talking about that soon once we get into the game. Also, this pipe of here goes nowhere. <laughs> Show me a pressure pump, please. There's no pressure pumps in here. I definitely saw a couple of these these over here with a pressure pump in them. <laughs> they didn't even finish the road, man. And Bolt looks behind the curtains. Yep. Pressure pumps. And there's some sort of stuff going on over here. No pressure pumps in this one. But a random storage chest over there. <laughs> Come on, move along. I was not to nowhere. That's cheating. They're getting pressurized water from, from an infant pipe. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be like that. All right. There's no pressure pumps over here. Let's give it like one or two more goes. I don't want to spend all day over here. Jamatia, hello there. How are you doing? Oh, he doesn't drive off. He's still going. <laughs> ah, the reefs over here. Now, nah, they're also connected with infinite pipes. Also, oh, that's inserters. I was kind of going like, what, what, is, what, what are these graphic glitches over there? But those are inserters. 
All right, come on. Next slide. Pressure pumps. Pressure pumps. No pressure pumps. Okay, I don't want to do this all day, but I do kind of want to see at least one pressure pump. Also, it's kind of funny to see that there's like a Zeppelin over here, which you never see over here. <laughs> Pressure pumps. Yep, they broke them. They didn't fix them. <laughs> that over there does no longer work like that, man. <laughs> uh, that's that's not how any of these work. Those are broken. They didn't check their own sheets, man. Uh, well, so be it. Let's jump in. Let's see how bad it will be. You don't need pumps and everything is infinite pipes. Very true, very true. All right, welcome to the Broken Factory. We will have to move on quite fast before we go into the depths of what works and what does not. Um, but we have to fix our power plants first. Blame the melon? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Megatron, can you just blame not not melon? I'm not even wasting energy on him. <laughs> I got better things to do, man. <laughs> All right, off we go. Of course I can, you nitwitted keyboard warrior. Not not melon is as useful as a one-legged Decepticon in a foot race. Here we go. They couldn't even properly optimize my weapon's explosive potential last night. The knuckle-headed hammer drone. He's easier to blame than Bold Viking's messy desk. There we go. We also just booted up the base. Uh, that was why we were running at low UPS. We just updated the mod pack. And things are broken everywhere. We actually have to be kind of fast over here. We actually have to be something a little bit speedy over here. Just as speedy as Team McIntyre over there. Because we just got raided by Team McIntyre. Hello there, Team McIntyre. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. The frames are real. Yes, the frames are real. Sorry about that. I mean, if, if you update the mod pack, um, some of the packs in the background rescan themselves and uh, reconfigurate themselves. And that's the thing they do all at the beginning of the, of, of the game. Uh, it should be fine now. We are still a bit low. We're still like at 50 UPS. That's a bit lower than usual, but then again, I'm also not using my usual streaming setup because it seems to restream to YouTube has kind of failed. Nevertheless, Megatron, we just got raided by Team McIntyre. Can you give Team McIntyre a proper shout out? Please also do tell us everything you know about them and do tell us their greatest achievement. This time around, we don't want a dark secret. This time around, we want your greatest achievement, man. Team McIntyre, thank you so much for the lovely raid. That's definitely a good way to start off a stream after we just had like a 15 minute rant about why Pi broke the mod pack for us, and we now have to go around and fix things. ASAP, because our power plants are about to run out, and the one thing you don't want to do in here in this, this kind of base is you, you don't want your power plant to run out, because if that happens, well, more shit is going to break. At least we do got steam buffers, uh, which will help us out for at least maybe 20 Hail minutes. Team McIntyre, the swarm of bumbling bees meandering aimlessly through the E-sphere. I know them. They're that group who thinks they've cornered the market in mediocrity. But I remember one of their so-called great achievements. They managed to not cause a brownout once during a stream. Nice. A feat almost as impressive mm -hmm. as Bold Viking keeping his bottle caps. Is that the type of news you sing praises for? You meet puppets. Now kneel before okay, me, Team McIntyre. For I am Megatron. Uh, Megatron, that's not a proper shout-out for Twitch.tv. Can you do better? <laughs> you had power problems today? Well, we are going to have power problems in minutes. I mean, you can see the change over here. Um, it used to be that you put in water on one end and you get pressurized water on the other end. And now they've basically orthog orthogonalized this whole thing. Which means you now need to put in water on the side. On the plus point, you can now make a grid out of these, which is great. That's such a great change. But they broke it everywhere, and now we have to fix it everywhere. Because if we don't fix it, our base over here will oh, stall. Oh, aim for stars, do we? Very well, you slavering horde of keyboard mashers. A grand salute to Team McIntyre, those veritable magicians able to turn even the most mundane raid into an event riddled with more disaster than Caladorn's love life. <laughs> Their streaming dynamics <laughs> is as erratic fuck, as Bold Viking's tap dance performance, yet it holds a certain pungent charm, much like my bottle cap collection. 
Bless you, Team McIntyre. You're my favorite disaster. Now give yourselves to the Decepticons. All right, Megatron, it was way better. Uh, could you tell us more about Caledon's love life, please? <laughs> In the meantime, we have to be quick over here. Else we're dead. Oop. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This over here again. Oh, this one's going to bottom to top. I was kind of thinking like, wait, is this one already empty over here? No, no, no. It's, it's going bottom to top, not top to bottom. Here we go. Pressurized water. Pressurized water. All of this. Uh, these pressure pumps, we have a lot of them in the base. I'm actually not quite sure how many we have. Ah, the laughable, love-drenched saga of Caladorn. If you think pineapple on pizza is a disaster, just wait till you hear about Caladorn's Only romantic thousands. adventures. Let me Fuck. tell you, Caladorn's love life is akin to bold Vikings yoga practice. Infuriatingly complex and bound to give you a headache. Just last week, he tried to cast a love spell. Part of his new hobby, apparently. No the result was more like a flat soda than a magical elixir. Now that's a love story you tell your nanobots at night to scare them off romance. Bleeding spark plugs. What a disaster. What? <laughs> Wait, I was not paying attention. What was going on over there? <laughs> yeah, a thousand. I mean... Here's another change. These vacuum pumps over here, you see this over here? Um, they now also have a password connection, which will make this build over here better. It will be easier to make this build over here. Uh, however, if you would have a pipe going this way over here, yeah, you're gonna have an issue. But we're searching in the bottom right. Wait, bottom right? Um, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Those are fighting words. Yes, they were. <laughs> they were. All right, off to the next power plant. I mean, this one over here should be... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. We forgot this one over there. Uh, bring it out. Move, move, move. The jetpack is going to be burning over time today. Is the voice off? The voice is off sometimes every now and then. That's going to be fine. Uh, But yeah, <laughs> we have to be fast about this change over here. Uh, these over here are also all broken. And these over here, we do need to fix them right away. Mostly because these over here do control the coke consumption over here. There we go. There we go. Where's the water coming from? From over there. Perfect. Easy fix. There we go. There we go. But yes, it would be so great if we maybe just could have gotten like a second recipe for this one. So that we could keep the original ones and then maybe use the other one over here if we want to make a better build. But no! Let's break shit. Because that's what you do in the pine mods, it seems. It's, it's so fucking annoying, man. No pain? This is not pain. This is just... <laughs> you could almost call this harassment, man. <laughs> Just the mod developers going like, yeah, we fixed something. Everybody just buckle up, buckaroos. Uh, here we go. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. That's this one fixed. You're not getting enough water in, but that should be fine as well. All right. Power plant over here is safe. Let's break stuff in the mod so it does not get any updates. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why they did it. I mean... <laughs> it's... I mean, I, I understand it's a nice change. But why do this change now? It, it makes no sense to do this change now. They could have just added this change to maybe like the next Pi mod update. Like, like the big updates. They do every now and then. This, this feels just like a casual change where people are like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's put this in. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? And then, no, it, it fucking breaks everything. <laughs> your, your old save is dead now. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're just starting up a fight, you're probably not going to have a big issue with this. But if you've got, like, a big thing out there, uh, like, every big power plant out there is more or less broken. 
And we're probably going to be running into issues all this time over here. And I'm just going to be fucking around with it all the time. It's going to be like this is still going around and I'm going to be blaming Megatron blame not not Melon for something again. We're just going to be blaming not not Melon. I'm not even quite sure if the change came from not not Melon or not. But but he's getting the blame for this one. <laughs> You kind of got to save with Steam Storage. The Steam Storage is doing, uh, doing doing good over here. The Steam Storage is definitely helping us out quite a bit. Where's the next power plant? Um, the next big power plant. We should prefer, we should prioritize the big ones first. Not not Manatee, the gallivanting pseudo pacifist. It's completely their fault that my perfectly optimized Mega Blaster malfunctioned last night. They couldn't properly adjust a single plasma coil if their life depended on it. It's as ridiculous as the time Bold Viking attempted a warrior's battle cry. Yes. And I've seen more strategic planning in a game of bingo. <laughs> Blame on you, Not Not Manatee, is like cheese on a donor. Absolutely perfect. Actually, cheese on a donor is perfect. Uh, it was an offer change, really? It was? I'm still gonna blame Not Not Melon. <laughs> <laughs> Even if Arthur did the change, I'm still gonna blame not not Melon. And it looks like you finished just in time. Yeah, kid would never lie. Yes, and it would never ever be possible to just inject foreign code into a Git repository without anybody noticing. <laughs> that would never happen. Absolutely not. Cheese on Turner. I guess you got the Turner pizza is might okay, but it sounds strange. Really. I mean, over here, uh, where you get maybe something called like a Yufka Special, it's, it's basically, it's almost a calzone, if you think about it. But it's just like um, um, uh, kebab meat wrapped in like uh, flatbread. And then usually, where's this power plant we're looking for? It's over there. <laughs> and then usually you can't put cheese in there. Like not a lot, just like a bit to do, just like make it a little bit more stringy and keep stuff together. You just ate when your salivation still has started? Yes. Cheese and Dirt, that's what they call a cap salon, really? <laughs> All right. Yeah, at least we got the big, big steam buffers over here, which will keep us alive for quite some time. But we should still, still focus on these as soon as possible. This is also a perfect example. This over here is probably something that's going to be happening around the base as well. Where we used to have the old pipe over here to fill up this thing and the new pipe coming out over there. And now, well, we can't connect you over here no more. Well, at least we can make use of this input pipe and that input pipe over there. But why would you call it a cap salon? Here we go, here we go. Yeah, you go this way. And by the way, this is also an issue. Notice something? <laughs> Actually, okay, it's, it's not pushing through yet. Is it working for these at least? I've, I've, I've heard rumors that they will not push out to a pipe. We might need to test that into in, in another system. There we go. They might once they start to back up. Yep. <laughs> nope. These things are an absolute hazard now. And that used to be a bug in the past as well with Pi mods. They're still not backed up. We're, we're gonna make it we're gonna give it a better test later on. We're gonna test it with some pressurized air later on today. But it used to be a bug in the past in the Pi mods as well, where you had some entities that had like pass-through connections, and the pass-through connection would not emit to a pipe, and if you did not know that. Some of the builds you would be making would just be flat out broken without you even noticing. Which is like also super duper annoying. There we go, you're working again. We're gonna give that the proper test soon, but, but we have to prioritize fixing the power plants first. And then we have to see what else is broken in our 1000 plus extra pressure pumps over here. Because we got like a thousand of these fuckers over here. Well, at least research is going. We finally got the certain capacity bonus. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They are with the combination of passing through and using. Yeah. 
And pick up you. Good delivery of a few power plants. Well, very much true. I mean, also good that we did some work on the power plants not too long ago. Here we go. Here we go. And at least we only got a couple of very important power plants. But there will probably still be builds out there that are going to be broken. Probably until we pick them up. <laughs> You'd like to change, but you don't have to deal with it? Yes. Uh, I mean, I also do like the change. That's, that's the only positive thing about it. I do like the change. Because it will make some of these builds easier to realize and better to do. But it's still going to be annoying as fuck for, for some places out here. We will probably also fly by a place over here somewhere where we probably end up having to maybe do a rebuild. And do know that Vanadium is going to be fucked up because for Vanadium over there, we do want to rebuild Vanadium, so we might maybe take this opportunity to rebuild Vanadium because, well, this now no longer works. Though we could probably get this connection from this side over here. But it might still be borked for these others over there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a weird change. Like, for, in some parts, I really like it. And in some parts, I just absolutely detest it. <laughs> like, like I say, why was it so hard to not add a second recipe? Just, just add, like, one more recipe and go, like, here. You want to use pass-through? Use this recipe. Don't want to use pass-through? Use the old one. Done. The inconsistency with the second one, there's no underground that you're feeding from the south and the west and the others that, that get out. I don't care right now. Because we're running on time over here. Because we need to fix these power plants before the whole base shuts down. And actually, we're going to skip you for a second. We're going all the way over to the other big power plant. And then we're going to go back to you. What happens if you rotate the thingamabob thingy in the vanadium thing? Well, the... The Vanadium setup is definitely broken, and it's definitely going to be broken for everybody because it used to be like a pass-through connection, like left side in, or one side in, opposite side out. So rotating it will not do, <laughs> because it's now at a 90-degree angle. Here we go, here we go. Ah, Peps! 27? <laughs> did you round something up? You did round something up. <laughs> confused about 27 gifted subs but peps hey there how are you doing thank you so much for that oh this one is super fucked um there we go you over there you over there bum 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 rotate you around you over there you over there bum 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 we can actually copy paste this And this time with the bots, please. There we go. At least this one is copy-pasteable. There we go. All right, next layer. Here we go. Here we go. It waited you out for months? Damn. Peps, thank you so much for 27 gifted subs. Megatron, can you give me a proper shout-out for Peps? Uh, do remember, Peps does love dual heavy flamethrowers. So do say something good about dual heavy flamethrowers. Also, blame not not melon for something. <laughs> Good, 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 good. By the way, even even if King Arthur did do the change, and I'm still blaming Not Not Melon, if Not Not Melon did not want to be blamed for this, then he should have checked King Arthur's work. <laughs> or the other way around. <laughs> good, 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 good. Twitch.tv USDRNOTICE hashtag bold Viking. What? Well, 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 if it isn't Peps, the flamethrowing whirling dervish. When Peps steps onto the battlefield, even I, Megatron, have to admire their dual heavy flamethrowers. It's like watching sunrises while eating noppers, exhilarating. Unlike Not Not Melon, who couldn't set fire to a chunk of Energon with a pyro blaster. There you go. Yes, you heard me, Not Not Melon. You're as useful as bold Vikings' attempts at tap dancing. And I'm not very Keep good at those flamethrowers blazing, Peps. To the death, Peps. Here we go. By the way, what was the text to speech? <laughs> Where did that come from? Did I miss something? There was a random text to speech in the middle. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs>
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Seemingly out of nowhere, yes. I also, the, wasn't quite sure what it was saying. It, it said something about... Did it just say my, my own Twitch channel over there? <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to it. I was so focused on the power plants over here. Here we go. All right, at least the power plants should be fine now. But we also barely made it over here because the steam buff over here is out. Good, 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 good. And how the gaming? Thank you so much for the resub, mate. All right, power is fine-ish, at least. You can immediately see which power plants are working and which power plants are not because this used to be way higher. <laughs> and the API to catch up? I've got no clue. At least I don't think it said anything malicious. It did say something like, like did it just say my channel name? <laughs> it was also kind of drowning out in, in, in the cheers over here. Good, good, good. Maybe, maybe somebody can clip that real quick for me. It's just like, what the fuck happened over there? All right, all right. Now, there are some, some other power plants out there that need to do get a little bit of a rework, which we can also do if you want to. Um, there are still some updates we need to do for, for some of the older power plants. We might as well do those as well. If only we had the text. Yeah, it also, I mean, usually the text-to-speech happens to have to get some kind of text, you know, to put in there. <laughs> there was no text, man. <laughs> so I'm not even quite sure what happened over there. All right, there's also this power plant over here, which we probably need to fix as well. Uh, pressurized, okay. At least this one has a centralized pressurized line over here. That's the same issue over here. All right, I see. All right. Pick up all of these. Uh, how do we connect the view? There's a lamp over there. That could stay, actually. We're going to connect you up from the bottom. Fish, wash, fish, have an underground going this way, have an underground going this way, and that's going to be the fix. Can we do the same fix over here? Ah, over here, of course it's different. That's going to be different. Well, so be it. Uh, at least we don't need to fix all of these power plants over here, because not all of these will be running all the time. But at least some of them. Another month. Thanks for all the being <sighs> UI, lol. I was for the text speech that it was going broke again. Here we go. Here we go. Good, good, good. And cry um Kyron. Continuing his gift to something got. Thank you so much for that as well. Good, alright. Check the tubes? Yes, definitely. Alright, all of this over here needs to be different. Uh this this one is different for all of them. At least down here we got like an easy connection. One like this. Hmm. We actually don't need you over there. We're just going to do this, that, this, that, this, that. There we go. Go back towards the stack and with no belt in front of it. You mean this one over here? There we go. Uh, probably also is missing over there. It's it's. I'm pretty sure it's also missing over here. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. <laughs> this one over here is actually not that important. But there we go. What's the product placement? Let me have a look at this one real quick. What happened over there? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, it got twitch.tv slash bold viking into it. But it didn't start with HTTPS. It started with something like TMI or something like that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Check my tips. 
I've got that active? <laughs> I thought I deactivated that. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> It looked like a sub, but it was not a sub. Oh god. Uh, what am I using? I'm using stream labs or stream elements? I think I'm using stream labs. Uh, blah blah blah. Go to dashboards. Don't oh, don't give me this in German, please. It's it's the most horrible thing ever. You go to the stream lab side and it goes into German mode. And you go like, what the fuck is this? All right, all right, all right. Tipping. Hmm, tip history. Ah, the last tip over here was in June, man. <laughs> I also see a tip of peps in there. Thank you for that for a while ago. <laughs> well then, well then. Um, I'll figure it out after the stream. If it was the tip, thank you so much for that. Um, I... Don't really do tips most because usually they're a little bit harder to tax than then just give the subs. I'm not even quite sure how they're taxed. That's all the reason why I'm not usually doing tips. Uh, but if somebody gave me a tip out there, thank you so much for that. It reacted to something. It definitely did react to something. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right. Still fixing stuff over here because shit's broke, man. Okay, we don't need this power pull over there either. And yeah, just do it like this, do it like that. There we go. You're done as well. It's a loose name, some new URL handler. Maybe. All right, are you good? You're good. There we go. And then these over here, we don't really need to fix because they're not really getting fuel over here. So we don't need to worry about these much. Uh, the ones that are getting fuel are a little bit further low. That are these ones over here. These ones, this row over here, we do need to fix. So off we go. And these are still using like the very, 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 very old uh, turbines. All right, you over there, you over there, have fun. That seems to be working. And then same thing over here. Get this pipe out. There we go. Get the lamp out. There we go. Uh, Megatron, blame not not melon again. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing this all day, man. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, this over here is just burning off the extra of cold dust that we're getting every now and then. Like these extras over here that are now just now coming in. Not quite sure where they're coming from. Doesn't matter. Uh, maybe also check these belts over here because we do need to make sure that this belt, which is going up, and this belt, which is going up, uh, also needs to be fixed, which is oh, going to Oh, the here. incessant incompetence of Not Not Melon. There it's more relentless than Bold Viking's inability to clean his desk. Oh, shit, it's yes. It's their fault. We're still dealing with stray Autobots. Their strategic acuity is about as impressive as my tap dancing after a box of noppers. <laughs> Speaking of which... Where the spark has my nopper stash disappeared. Not not melon. The incompetence. The audacity. I blame you. Not not melon. There we go. Who are we blaming what for? We're blaming not not melon for this change over here in these pressure pumps. Because we do have uh, built in our base pressure pumps. We got about 1,400 pressure pumps inside this base. And these 1,400 pressure pumps are most likely all broken. Well, uh, it's probably a little bit less than that. It's probably 1,200. But yeah, we might need to just interact with 1,200 entities because they updated something in the mod pack and they thought like this is a good idea. And still, I do think it's a good idea, but the way they did it, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Only 600? Oh, uh, there we go. I mean, we got 1,000 of the old pressure. Actually, we can check the electric network here. Yeah, it's it's about it's about 900,000. Uh, it's 900,000. <laughs> it's about a thousand. There we go. If we go by means of the power, the electric network. 
here we go here we go also one thing we haven't looked at yet how broken is that wait a minute where are they um that could also be a horrendous change here they are uh, okay this this one is not as bad as i thought it would be could still be bad could be good still uh they now got the pasture interface up here at least so water over here will pass through to the other side uh over here it's fine there might be builds out there where the sword extractors also have a similar issue biggest issue of course is where the fuck do we have sword extractors and how many of these do we have uh we only got like a whopping 1200 sword extractors on the map yes Subscription or rate or milestone? Who knows? Who knows? And girls just like to throw and replace them using commands. Also true. Also true. Now, but I don't want to use commands because at this moment in time, we basically can still say that we have not cheated in this game. The moment we use commands over here, basically everything goes. I don't really want to use commands because I kind of want to, 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 to keep it like this over here. Because every now and then we do see one of these pop up, and actually we're probably going to be seeing the Circuit Veteran Mark II pop up over here at any point now. Uh, which is really, really good. Now to guess I'm a victim blame here, but why update the pack when the change like this comes out? True, I could have not updated. Very, 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 very true. But then we would not get any more future updates. Like, if they do anything else in the future, in fixes, we would not get those either. Uh, and to be perfectly honest, I mean, if you update your own pack... Or if they, if they update the pack, um, you kind of expect to update with them because you do want the latest tools and gadgets and you do want to keep up to date because there's also bug fixes in there. I mean, if we don't update now, we will never update again and we will have to live with every bug fix out there that's going to happen at this moment in time. Or we're going to live without every, every bug fix. Nah, we're blaming them. <laughs> and if they did not want to get blamed like this... And maybe come up with a better release way to do breaking changes, man. <laughs> <laughs> they had a nuclear stuff to the codex? Yeah, let's have a look at that real quick. Um, pom, 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 pom. They did definitely update Steam stuff over here. The earliest way to make electricity is via boiler. Uh, max output amount, max temperature, yada, yada, yada. And the boiler can only render the maximum of 250. This is all good information that was missing at the beginning. Steam turbine, uh, max output of 190 megawatts. That's wrong. <laughs> That's no longer correct. <laughs> Unlocked with the nuclear research, the entity uh, steam turbine is a side grade to pressurize steam turbines intended to allow the use of heat generated by the electric redirector. It consumes 60 steam per second. Yada, yada, yada. High pressure steam. There we go. Yeah, this one is at least up to date. <laughs> um... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this this is the steam turbine. I was wrong. I was wrong. These are the ones we need to look at. There we go. Uh, unlocked by Pi Science Pack 1, 2, 3, and 4. We will never see the Mark IV ones, I think. Uh, the high-pressure steam turbines comes large, consumes large amounts of fluid um, pressurized um, steam, generates huge amounts of energy. The final tiers are very difficult and expensive to produce. Uh, must be generated in a heat exchanger yada 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 each tier of the heat exchanger produces uh, progressively higher temperatures of 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 wait a minute what <laughs> spot the odd one out we got four heat exchangers and the ranges are going from 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 <laughs> Something is missing. <laughs> heat exchangers transfer the heat into uh, pressurized water and blah, 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 molten salt. Many non-renewable power plants can create molten salt, yada, yada, yada. All of these. Each turbine consumes 60, 600, 6,000, and 60,000. We know about that. All right. And then nuclear power. Good God, this is even formatted. <laughs> Why are there these big gaps in between? <laughs> Starting with nuclear research, convert uranium ore into plutonium-238, needed for uh, chemical science using the entity breeder reactor. The reactor will burn fuel cells regardless of the heat being used or not. After researching nuclear power, you can now produce large amounts of electricity with the entity nuclear reactor, fueled by uranium hexafluoride with the um, nuclear MOX reactor or reactor Mark 1 fueled with plutonium dioxide. 
The reactors will produce reactor waste, spent reactor fuel, or spent MOX reactor fuel. The reactor waste can be separated into... Spirated into hot molten salt and high energy waste, or high energy waste too. Uh, which can be processed to recover un <coughs> unburnt uranium and plutonium isotopes for science and fuel. So we can use it for science. Uh, one to one, one K to one two K. Okay, if you go into the middle, but but that's not how it goes, Pap. Sadly, <laughs> uh, the nuclear reactors used to uh, produce power and convert yellow cake into plutonium oxide. Uh, more effective than it would be done in the entity breeder reactor. Uh, the nuclear MOX reactor produces power and converts excess uranium two three eight and plutonium two three nine into uh, other isotopes and plutonium. The fuel processing for uh, nuclear reactor Mark 1 will be able to produce the uranium to trade uh, required by several MOX reactor Mark 1s. Um, the recycled waste of both can produce more than the needed item P239. That's already been noted that this is a typo. It should be PO239, as this link goes nowhere. To feed the plutonium dioxide for the MOX reactor. See the section of the turbines for yada yada yada. Yes. At least this is it. This, this helps a lot because I also wasn't quite sure if we can actually use the Mark 1 reactor to make the uh, plutonium oxide that we need. I actually kind of looked into that. I wasn't even quite sure if that works like that because we need spent reactor fuel over there, which goes into high energy waste, which we can then turn into Purex, which we can then turn into Purex, which we can then turn into, uh, I guess, Purex. Maybe go the other way around, because I kind of want to see how we can turn this stuff into... How do we turn this stuff into plutonium, then? <laughs> let's maybe, let's maybe go, um, go the other way around. So if we go from chemical science over here, and we go from nuclear samples over here, to plutonium-238, to plutonium oxide, the MOX... This one does not exist no more. Um... We can get plutonium oxide only from plutonium peroxide, which we can only get from antimony phosphate, or Purex PU concentrate tree. Ah, that's probably where we need to go. This one over here comes, of course, from Purex PU concentrate 2, which comes from Purex PU concentrate 1, which comes from Pure Purex concentration 5. All right, we were almost there. I just crapped out, like, uh, one step before. So we do need to go through the whole Purex thingamajig over here to get to the plutonium that we need. Good, 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 good. You do have this sometimes with fair, but hunting down every one of the XY machines in every game uh, is just a cock and ball torture. It is. It is. Are we finished with the power plant repair stuff? For now, we are. For now, we are. I mean, there, there's still some power plants that needs fixing. Uh, this power plant over here... Actually, let's do that real quick. This one over there is, is still offline. But we, we fixed the important ones, at least. So that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, for the heat exchangers, if we go back to you over there to the pressurized steam, uh, we get 1,000, we get 2,000. Do we even get 5,000? <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. Pressurized steam. Craft. We get 3,000, 4,000. Now we do get 5,000. Okay, never mind. It seems it does exist. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Uh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Over there. Good. At least... Oh god, are these working still? Ah! <laughs> uh, that's water in there. And that's vacuum over there. I'll think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. These are fine, those are fine, these are fine, those are fine. Ah, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, there's a Kappa Infinity mode? Oh, good God. <laughs> well, so be it, so be it. Fine for how long? I mean, this is not a really important power plant. I I'll think it will be fine. Let's just say it's going to be fine. You got it yesterday when the hype train went to 100. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only comment I saw about that one hype train going to like 100, what was it again? Um, uh, 
Yeah, that was just like uh, a casual $230,000 for, for Mr. Pirate Software. <laughs> 54k subs and 8 million biddies in total. Yep. <laughs> that guy basically definitely doesn't need to stream anymore. He can just go basically go be like, all right, did my thing. I'm going to retire. Goodbye. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Uh, where does your pressure response come from? From over there. Yeah, this over here will be an easier fix, I think. Yeah, this will be an easier fix. Here we go. Let's put it over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. I mean, at least over here we can see the update a little bit more in action. I mean, this is nice. I, I like things like this. If, if things go like this, this is great. This is why I really, really do enjoy the fix. And this is also the reason why I really, really wanted to have this one. Because, there, yeah, they just connect and then there we go. Thank you. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. And then at least this place over here will also be working yet again. Good, good. It got out of control. It switches fault for setting a new target. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, don't never underestimate the power of, like, how many how many life users he have? Like 10,000 or something like that? Never underestimate the combined stupidity of 10,000 people in the room. They can do absolutely amazing things. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, that's a fix. And we need the same fix over here. At the end, it was like 40,000. Okay, I see. Never underestimate the combined stupidity of 40,000 people in the room. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Good. All right, that's fixed as well. You live in America, you always be aware of the power of mass stupidity. Fenring! Hello there. How you doing? It simply stopped at 105 because it required too much to get to the next level. <laughs> uh. All right. All right. Let's go back to the more quick because I'm pretty sure we're also going to be running out of rocket fuel soon. Yes, we are. Uh, we also got some green circuits in there. Where did those come from? Yeah, put them in there, please. So Twitch finally uncapped the hype train? It seems so. It seems so. Not really keeping up uh, much uh, uh, up with hype trains because, well... Uh, we do get hype trains quite often, actually. Did we? Wait a minute. Did we not get the hype train? Oh, we did. <laughs> we had a very, very small hype train before Peps came along. <laughs> and the more people involved, the dumber the mob. Yep, absolutely. And the intelligence of a mob is the IQ of the stupidest person divided by the amount of people in it. Oh, most likely. Most likely. <laughs> All right, all right. I mean, at least we could get the fixes in quite fast. But there's a good chance that every now and then we're probably going to be finding something in here that's broken. And whenever we find something that's broken, we're blaming not not balance for it. Like, like whenever we see a pressure pump that's not doing the thing it should be doing, we're going to go like, not not balance. And then we're just going to blame it for something and it'll be fine. All right, let's have a quick look at the other thing that, in my opinion, is not working as intended. Yeah, let's get some pressure pumps. Uh, we got some vents on us. We got some vents on us. So, pressure pumps. Where are they? Here we go. So, one, two. Give it a gap. Give it some power. All of these over here. Let's just make some pressure us air. Here we go. And then, just for now, we're just going to be pushing this pressurized air over here into a vent. There they are. Notice something? <laughs> Let me flip it real quick so you can see it better. There we go. So he will back up. Yep. He will back up. They do not push out to a pipe. Oh, 
Or at least they will not accept inputs from a pipe. It's it's so weird. It's 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 weird. It's weird. And this used to be the case with the old turbines, the old combustion turbines they had, like in Alien Life when it came out. This used to be a bug back then as well. And at some point in time they fixed it. But this thing over here will just not use the pipe over here. If we combine this thing up over here and we just go like you over here. There you go. And give it some power. That's a little bit far away. There we go. It'll work just fine. It'll come... Wait. <laughs> Rotate the correct way around. It'll work just fine. So the pass through connectors are handled as input connectors and thus not uh, allowing outputs. It's definitely going to break even more shit. And if you're not prepared for that, things are going to be weird. But it should work because... If you go to any any other thing over here, it works for them. If if you go, for example, for uh, we have one not over here, we have further down. If you go, for example, to the what should we call it? Uh, where are they? The clay mines. There they are. These ones over here. It should work for them. Let's test. Let's disconnect you. Yeah, it works over here. I think. Yeah, it works over here. This works. It, it works for these. It's the same kind of connectors. The same kind of crossover connectors. Same kind of entity. For these, it works. For um, these over here, it just does not. It just goes like, nah, fuck it. <laughs> we don't work like that because no fucking reason. <laughs> now, okay, of course, there, there's a difference over here. These over here produce, which is fine. So if we want to find an equivalent over here, and let's put you over there again. Into the bucket bucket. Yep, pretty much. Uh, Necronium, hello there. How are you doing? An equivalent for this one over here would be... Do we even have an equivalent for this one over here anywhere? I don't know. Um, I mean, the big problem over here is that these pass-through pipes over here, these also produce the thing they also try to pass through. That's definitely weird, and I don't think that that exists anywhere yet. A producer of a pass-through, yes. It's kind of hard to think about one of those. I mean, even all the turbines out here are broken. Speaking of things that are broken, oh, that's the thing we need to fix. Where is it? This was such a beautiful build. And not not melon fucked it. <laughs> Megatron, could you blame not not melon for breaking Mike Sifo pool build? Here we go. Here we go. Nah, there. I see an easy fix for this one. Uh, we just move some stuff around, and it'll be fine. But we're still blaming not not melon for this one. <laughs> And we do need those Xyphos. Those Xyphos are important. Up we go. Xy-E foil build? Something like that. By the foul stench of a decomposing rat in a soup. Not, nice. not melon. Can we not entrust you with even the simplest task like Xypho's pool build? <laughs> Your level of ineptitude is rivaled only by bold Vikings' attempts at speedrunning. Yep. This disaster is worse than the time I accidentally used my magical Minecraft boots for tap dancing. Oh God. You, not not melon, are as useless as a two-wheeled tricycle. I hope you rust in peace. Wait a minute. Megatron, from now on, whenever you blame not not melon, uh, put in an asterisk that tells us not not melon is actually not the source of the origin. It was actually King Arthur, but we're still blaming not not melon. <laughs> We should probably put a disclaimer on that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. All right, up we go. Fix six cyphos. Pause patch. Hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, at least our UPS over here is also going better again. Megatron's being weak is not Mud Mullen's fault. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, by the rusted gears of the Decepticons, not not Melon. You failed more spectacularly than the time King Arthur lost the Holy Grail. <laughs> 
note. The true source of incompetency hails from King Arthur, but for my amusement, our favorite scapegoat remains not not melon. There we go. You wouldn't recognize a good plan if it came with a manual and a donor. Your ineptitude excels anything I've ever seen. Even Boldviking's kebab store. Blame. Not not melon. Like seagulls on a freshly washed windshield. <laughs> <laughs> now it should be correct. Now it should be correct. Now we can blame not as well as much as you want. As long as you keep the disclaimer in that King Arthur is actually to blame, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, this is everywhere as well. Yeah, move you over by one. Move you down by one. Move this in by one. Here we go. Can you blueprint it? No, there's no such thing as a diff blueprint. A diff blueprint over here would be absolutely amazing. I mean, we can blueprint parts of it, very true, but... Eh, already done. That's 2.0 magic? Is, is diff blueprints a 2.0? Really? Here we go. Like, actually, just like a single command that goes like, here, take these out and put those in. I do know that in 2.0 that there's going to be some some changes that will make things like this easier. I think you can force overwrite when you paste. Yeah, but but the diff upgrade would also include. I mean, a, a diff upgrade is like a patch update, where you basically have like the commands to pick up certain entities and put down certain entities in like one command. That's basically the combination of like a blueprint and a deconstruction planner. But I have not seen anything like that in in the Friday Victoria effects yet. Here we go. Uh, the things we do for our Xyphos, man. There we go. What are you actually missing? You're missing your larva. That's probably also some issue with the larva over there. Good, 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 good. There we go. Oh, actually, no, I'm... Yeah, I remember, I remember. In 2.0, the thing you can do is... Isn't the thing you can do is, like, you basically can deconstruct the whole area? Or at least put in deconstruction commands for, like, things you want to deconstruct? And then just paste the new thing over? And the moment that the blueprint recognizes that stuff is already there, it basically just doesn't deconstruct itself. Wasn't it like that? And with that, you could technically do a diff... Even though it's still a bit clunky, but it should work. Yeah, super force building, exactly. I mean, if if you're unlucky and your bots are just way too fast for yourself and your factory, uh, they will still need to be rebuilding stuff, but at the end of the day, it might work. It might work. Here we go. Here we go. Here you go. You over there, you over there. Next one. Alright. Get this with social media out of here. Get the fish food out of here. There we go. There we go. Uh there's there's still a couple of rows to do, man. <laughs> We're not even halfway done yet. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. Easy upgrades in 2.0. Uh, let me just hack into Whoop Studios real quick and get me a fresh copy of 2.0. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now now we're getting halfway done over here. Ugh. Well, let's let's just mow through this real quick. Yeah, this is what speedrunners do. <laughs> Click buttons as fast as you can. Yep. 
Here we go. All right, all right, you for there, you for there, you for there. You for there, you for there, you for there. Next rope. Easy to say moves, but two times faster. Yes, there's a speed for the training now. Ah, oh. oh, man. Today's content is sponsored by Not That Melon. Fixing the base over and over and over. It's probably also to blame why my restream setup didn't work. <laughs> they did what to those pumps? Yep. <laughs> uh, I mean, other plus sides, make one B. He can now make some really, really nice compact pump builds. I do enjoy that. On the other side, uh, they they broke so much shit. How do we fix you? Uh, I guess we can do something like this. Okay, there's a water pipe over here. Is that... That will reconnect afterwards if we just make the pipe longer. What do you mean different liquids? <laughs> what do you mean different liquids? There are no different liquids over here. Oh, yeah, because you're still connected over there. That's why. And let's place you over there. Let's place you over there. And you go sideways. <laughs> not not melon. Oof. There you go. We're well, gonna have to replace you soon. And move you out a bit. Move you over there. Move you over there and over there. Uh at least there's only four of these. And are you still connected? Or is that an old pipe? That is still connected. There we go. There we go. Good. It's a whole new definition of the nut war. I mean the melon war. There we go. So at least these three will be working again. Alright. Uh we did you? We did you. Alright, next part. A few down by one, 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 a few down by two. Put in these, next. There we go, put you over there, put you over there. Put you down, uh, let's also get rid of some fish food over there real quick, there we go, next. You over there, you over there, you over there, move you down by one, move you over there. And there we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. There we go. Remember when they said on the patch note that there will be no more big content updates? I remember that. <laughs> here we go. You over there. You over there. Wally! Hello there! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? And then you for there, and then you down by one. That was like four breaking patches ago. Yep, more or less. I mean, the, the, the Steam update was not really a breaking patch. At least that one did change the Steam behavior, but it didn't break anything in terms of things that is existing. existing. So you at least had enough time, or you still have enough time, to work on it to make it better. This one, on the other hand, nah, that, this one just fucks you over. Like, not even any time to get the lubricant out. Not even the fish oil. It just goes in. And goes like here. Get bent over, mate. The change is coming. No fish oil and no lubricant. Here we go. Yeah, some seaweed over here. Lovely. 
Kid Ben, you forgot the loop? Yep. Just bite the pillow. It'll be fine. Ah, there's fish food missing over here. Uh, at least you might as well debug this place as well. Oh, wait, never mind. Fish food is coming. <laughs> Let's see. Is there... There might be something broken with the fish as well. We have to check. Alright. You over there. You over there. You over there. You over there. This one over there. And the pie April Fools is being that you think you would need to do that, then checking it and turning out every, um, that they actually would. I mean, if they're going to do an update like tomorrow when they go like, April's Fools, yada, 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 I'm, I'm going to quit the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> if they revert this by tomorrow, I'm just going to be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. We're going to play some happy games. Good, 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 good. Happy Games with War Crimes of Slavery. Yeah, speaking about that, um, the Rimmel DLC will be being released next week on... Is it next week first day? Is it already next week first day? Which was also one of the reasons why I basically took the day off yesterday. Because once the Rimmel DLC comes out, we're probably going to be doing a whole bunch of extra streams. Um, which kind of... Which, which kind of came and got me to the conclusion like, wait a minute, if we're going to be putting a lot of extra streams, then a lot of days off will not will no longer be off. So we might as well take whatever we can and days off as we can before all the extra streams start. So I thought to myself yesterday, you know what? I'm taking Monday off because I can. And it was good. It was good. Two weeks? No, it should be next week. Let me check real quick. Why is that? Uh, where is RimWorld? Oh, where is that Discord? There it is. Mm. Also, <laughs> the April's Fugus joke was anomaly is cancelled. We'll be replaced by reality again. Duh. There we go, yeah. April 11th. There we go. And Rimmel just got bought for 2 billion? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> good, 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 good. What the fools? It's only 20, like 20 bucks in Steam. <laughs> I mean, Rimmel is definitely... I mean, Rimmel is also one of those games that have matured excellently. I mean, I do remember like the early days of Rimmel, which were very, very clunky and things were very, very weird, but they put so much effort into making the game so much better in over the years. It's, it's like absolutely, absolutely amazing to play. Even if your whole colony is burning, even if everybody's dying from dysentery, it's still so much fucking fun. Oh, Rimworld the series. Oh. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are, are you telling me that they're going to make like an anime, not an anime show, but, but an actual series out of Rimworld? I mean, you, you do know how that starts, right? Like a person just for no good reason just kills another person because they go like i was feeling bad i'm sorry i'm gonna murder you and you made it up <laughs> i mean could you imagine that like like rimworld the tv series where like a random person is just walking around he gets like like bit by a bunny and then a day later he's dead <laughs> died to infection oh no and then the dog gets pissed off because of that, because his handler got uh, died, and then the, the dog goes crazy, bites the next person, and then he dies of infection, and the dog dies as well, because that's how it goes. Here we go, here we go. 
Episode one, raided by two squirrels. Everybody dies, see snow for exactly. <laughs> All right, this will be his fix at least. Um, food. What's what's going on with food over here? There's a whole bunch of food over here, but there's almost no food over here. And that is because it's all coming from the same side. It's all coming from the fish farm over here. Oh, the child soldier run. Oh, good God. I forgot you can do that in the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Uh, the fish farm is not doing anything. That's why. Why is the fish farm not doing anything? Because the fish farm is backed up on fish. Yes, it is entirely backed up by fish like absolutely backed up by fish ultra 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 backed up by fish are we not butchering fish over here um we are but i think the fish oil over here is no the fish oil is being exported that's going somewhere it's going in all the way over here that's fine but we don't have a sink for the fish oil yet and because we do not have a sink for the fish oil yet this thing over here basically is stopping in its tracks so, fish oil. I think we can turn it into iron ore. Um, pom, 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 pom. Uh, we can turn it into tin ore. We can turn it into iron ore. Let's do exactly those two things. Good, 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 good. And Calador, hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Megatron, can you tell us that thing again, which you, which you told us today about Caladorn? Sorry, I, I was kind of focused on thinking about Rimworld, the TV series. <laughs> it was announced yesterday, really? I don't see anything like that. At least not in the Rimworld Discord. Maybe somewhere else. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But the fish farms need to run all the time um, because they make the fish food. There we go. Are your VIPs really disrupt to you? Yes, they are. They are. I, I love my VIPs. All of them. I mean, the VIPs are definitely VIPs because... How could I forget, you gullible drones? Gather around for another tragic tale of Caledorn. There we go. Just like a tin-plated warrior at a bot convention, Caledorn keeps trying to pick up new hobbies to impress his lost loves. <laughs> the latest... Random conjuring spells. Ah, there now, we go. when someone utters Fungui Muggle Wunaf Caladorn Relie Waganagla Fatang, we duck for cover faster than if Bold Viking started a dad joke. Yes. There's more sense in my bottle cap collection than in his romantic endeavors. Okay, May the spark light like your path. Let me, let me. Oh, love stricken Caladorn. Oh, the utter despair. There is an official trailer. Rim of the World. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'll take a look at it again later. I mean, if it was announced yesterday, it could have been an April Fool joke, you know? <laughs> it was April 1st yesterday. All right, all right, all right. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, but yes, uh, I mean, to become a VIP in this channel, you do have to spend, what is it, like 300,000 channel points? I mean, everybody in here has spent that. That means they are definitely very important persons because they had the time and the patience to sit through the stream for many, many hours to become a VIP. So, yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's think real quick. What else could be broken? I mean, there's many things that could be broken, and we were probably going to be realizing for weeks that things are broken. Um, I'm not really thinking it's a good idea to actively hunt down these things, because I don't really know where pressurized pumps are in its entirety. I mean, there are occasional pressurized pumps here and there. We do know that. But they could be anywhere, in any kind of build, for any kind of reason. And without us finding each of them dedicatedly, it's not going to be easy to, to figure out if they're still running or not. The, the things like the vacuum pumps and stuff like that, they will most likely be running fine as their output direction is still kept. But everything like this one over here, that used to be a pass-through pump over here, that's going to be broken. Actually, if you think about it, luckily for us, there's not that many pressurized recipes in general. There's only pressurized water, as well as pressurized vanadium pulp. I do remember one place where there's pressurized water. 
Uh, we should probably take a look at those as well. Maybe we can skip them or leave them out for now because the old geothermal systems all use pressurized water as well. Pressurized steam is not made in one of these pressure pumps, so we don't need to worry about that. Pressurized hydrogen, I don't think we use that yet because that's mostly required for we don't do that, we don't do this, uh, we don't do that, we don't do this, na 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 na. And we don't do this one over here yet. So we're good over here. The pressurized vanadium is definitely broken. We know that. Pressurized water. What else is pressurized water going into? Well, of course, in all of the power ponds, subcritical water. I know where that is. We have to check that up real quick. Um, pressurized air for nitrogen. Yeah, but, but they will still have the same output. And I already checked those before the stream because our usual... Our usual pressurized nitrogen builds, like these ones over here, uh, they got the pressurized pumps on the outside, and there's nothing connected to them, so they are going to be fine. These, if we if we focus on these builds, these builds are going to be fine. We might have some older builds in here that makes nitrogen, like this one over here, and this one over here will also be fine, at least this one. But there might still be a couple others out there that might not be fine. This one over here is fine. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Did he say he lost all his VIPs and treasures every single one of them? Yes, I do, man. I do. All right. Pressurized water. Excited, folks. We just fixed that. ZPS. Do we need pressurized water for the ZPX? Um, yes, we do. Wait a minute. We're very close to that. We are very, very close to that. That's just down there. Good. Now, where's your PayPal? There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Which direction does the PayPal go, man? Hmm. There we go. Pressurized water from over here. That's broken as well. This pump. Uh, will this be an easy fix? Let's see how this is water coming in from over there. This will be an easy fix. Just do it like this. There you go. And then pressurized water's going around, and then that'll be fine as well. That's the only pressurized pump over here. That's the only pressurized pump over here. No worries over here whatsoever. Good. Pressurized pump, uh, pressurized water is also going into Xiphos, ZPS, Xiphos. Yeah, it does go into Geo from the water. Um, I think uh, there's a couple we need to fix, actually. Uh, we're not doing any guana processing. We're not doing any biosample processing. A better processing and we don't have any of these techs unlocked so we don't need to worry about them um these are all locked techs or not done techs yet none of these none of those do we need them for the sponges i don't see anything good in here and then of course the power plants the power plants do required Let's have a quick look at the sponges. Do the sponges require pressurized water? No, they just require saline water. We perhaps need to rise up on the VIPs. We have the numbers. Are you sure about that? <laughs> then again, uh, there's, I think, a maximum of 60 VIPs we can have at this moment in time. And I think I've got 55 slots occupied. So there's only a couple free slots left. I did clean up the list a bit of some people I gave VIPs out in the past. Uh, that either do not stream no more or are no longer present or, um, yeah, do no longer require it. Um, so there are some slots that, 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 that got freed up, but, well, if the slots run out, the slots run out. Time to get those 100 continuous subs then. Uh, it's, it's, now we get more subs or more VIPs if we get, I think, 100 con uh, concurrent viewers speaking at the same time. So if everybody would make some noise at the same time, that would work. <laughs> But then again, they will be like calling out the lurkers to make some noise, and that will never happen. Uh, because people that want to lurk, let them lurk. They can happily be lurking. They could also be asleep. Before, you know? <laughs> asleep on the keyboard, just go like, ah, oh, this is fine. This is fine. Like blaming not not melon for things. Yes, with the disclaimer, it was actually King Arthur. All right. All right. I think we're fine for fixes for now. Uh, we will probably notice if other things are broken. Let's uh, don't, don't stand in the water. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at our vanadium deposits over here. 
we have none. Okay, Vanadium is completely porked. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this stuff real quick. And then let's get a train over to the Vanadium place. I am not want to fly over there because I want to have a quick drink on the side. <laughs> Random noise. There we go. <laughs> But that's what the VIP is already doing. Now you're telling us the lurkers are napping as well. <laughs> uh, speaking of napping, uh, it turns out my snooze button on my alarm clock is either A, not working anymore, or B, I just completely missed it, or C, something else happened. But I woke up at 12 p.m. today and I was like, oh, when is our planning meeting or our, our retro meeting? An hour ago. Fuck. <laughs> I overslept. Shit. <laughs> Uh, partially to blame is definitely myself because um, I thought for sure I've got like another week before the next anime season is starting. Uh, turns out I was wrong and I've kind of figured that out at like 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do words on stream that will get many to, to type in chat. Very true. Very true. Now nah, that's Balanceful 2. All right, that's Balanceful 2. <laughs> Damn you, Balan, for breaking everything. All right, all right. We do got the first stack capacity inserted bonus, but I think that's not affecting our normal inserters yet. Uh, for that, I think we do need this one over there. No, actually, we need this one over here. Ooh. So this one is going to be the important one. We definitely want this bonus so that these over here will be going twice as fast. But our stack capacitors now have a stack size of three. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Is nobody picking up my shit? Because there's bots everywhere. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, yeah, let's do the following. Uh, deactivate this. Ah, bigger one, please. Eh. Okay, maybe two small ones. Two small ones is fine. Put that in there. Put that in there. Take this out. Take that out. And drop all of that in there. Done. Much better, much better. All right, all right, all right. Let's take the train over to where the Vanadium build is. Vanadium is definitely going to be important, and we should definitely make our Vanadium build go again because we are going to need that Vanadium. So let's pick up our machines over here and let's get over there. There we go. Let's go to the Vanadium build and have a look at that. It definitely needs fixing. Something is ported over there. We just know. Good. After that, um, I think after that, we can start thinking about getting ourselves uh, into the next creature production. Good thing this one is empty. Almost empty. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. As we do have the, um, the Afurian Axe with us, and we want to use the Afurian Axe to make the first... Dingrits and to make the first, what are they called again? Scrondrixes. There you go. And I think we have to do the Scrondrixes first because to breed the Dingrits, we need to have the Scrondrix. And to make the Scrondrix, we need some chemical DNA samples, some generic Earth DNA samples, the Scrondrix Codex. The Scrondrix Codex itself requires us to put in. Where is that thing? Yeah, this. Uh, to put in some phosphate glass, which we also have in the pocket, some red circuits, some green wire, and some lamps. And then we make a couple of those. Do we already have the better Scrondrix farms? We do have the better Scrondrix farms. Do we have them already automated? We do have them automated over there. We also have the basic farm over there. And we do got like 10 of them in storage over here. 10 of them is fine for now. So that does mean we're making them. Drinking Red Bull, do they sponsor you? Or are you just Max for Steppen fan? No, but the only reason why I occasionally drink a Red Bull is, is because um, I do like... To have like a little bit of a caffeine, sugary, high sugary uh, input drink. But I don't really like like those big 0 0.5 liter ones. Because 0 0.5 liters is way too much. And the Red Bull ones are actually a comfortable size. Like, like I mean, I, I know I could just maybe only drink half of it. But that will never happen. That will never happen, man. <laughs> and at the end of the day, they all cost the same except the super cheap stuff. And the super cheap stuff only comes in like 1.5 liter bottles. Yeah, not going to do those. Good, 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 good. All right. So what's going on over here? 
And just like a quick can of pull does, especially before the stream, it, it, it does helps me refocus things down. So what's going on over here? Um, well, part of the issue is, of course, this part over here. Let's start with the obvious error in the build, which is going to be you. Here we go. That'll work. And then... Ah, <laughs> well... Actually, this will be fine. We just move you all the way over there. Don't connect up to whatever the fuck that was. Just place pipe like this. There we go. Good. That at least makes this part going again. And that part's going again. Great. Then, down here. Um, I guess you're over there now. And you came from over there. So, that is... Different liquids. Oh, you're probably still connected to... Uh, what what the fuck are you connected to? Wait, how is this different liquids? <laughs> because there's a bit of you in there. Where's that coming from? Well then, we'll figure that out soon. There's also this pipe over here, which is going down over here, into there, into this thing. Oh god, why, why did we make this thing so super duper complicated? I think it's coming from you, because you're connected to... What is this one even doing? Yeah, you're going in over there. I think this is the one that is causing the issues. If you put you over there, I think we can connect with you again. Yeah, there we go. Alright, alright. And then to the bottom, nothing at the bottom over here. This is some kind of, of re-upfill system so that we don't overfill from stuff, I think, coming from over here. It's been a while since we have touched... Um, the vanadium system. And actually, this is all empty now. Ooh. We did also lose quite a bit over here due to Not Not Melon again. Uh, Megatron, could you blame Not Not Melon for the um, Tailing Pond incident? Here we go. Yeah. Because that's definitely something he did. All right. At least this part is going now. And with this part going, I think the rest of this should also be going. Anything broken over here? You're waiting on stage 5. Stage 5 is waiting on 4. 4 is waiting on stuff that's coming in. Nah, I think this might be fine now. I think we might be good for Vanadium over here. Because Vanadium was already working most of the time. So I think we're fine. Good, 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 good. Not, not Melon. You're as reliable as a chocolate kettle. <sighs> the tailing pond incident? More like a robotic catastrophe of epic proportions. It's the largest disaster since King Arthur lost his bottle cap collection. King Arthur, not 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 Melon, was the real culprit, but we must maintain tradition. <laughs> Your inability to properly manage a simple pond tailing is as pathetic as bold Vikings' attempts at knitting. Yep. Under your supervision, scrap metal flies more gracefully than any of our Decepticon jets. Shame on you, Not Not Melon! May the guilt fuel your circuits forever. Hey, yeah. And what is this King stuff now? I mean, King Arthur is one of the mod developers for Pi. And not, not Melon is the other one. And we also got Pi on himself. But he's usually doing the, 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 the artwork. And there was an update today. That kind of broke everything. And usually we blame Not Not Melon for it. But it kind of turns out that King Arthur is actually to blame. But we are still keep, keep blaming Not Not Melon. But occasionally we say it's actually King Arthur. <laughs> And as such, we get the magnificent word that was not, not, not melon, which I found very hilarious. All right, all right. While we're over here, let's check up on you. Um, you over there, you're still making these. We're still making engines over... Oh, they're over there. What is this one over here? What are you requesting? You are requesting copper. Really? Copper? Wait a minute. Just because my melon is usually in my streams so and not yours? True, true, true. And King Arthur's usually mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what's missing over here? A bit of speed. Yeah, we're doing fine for power again. At least I think we're doing fine. It's still kind of hard to tell exactly how much power we're doing. But that is good. That is good. We were also thinking about going into nuclear power last time around. Yes, but with nuclear power, we need to do lithium processing. 
as well as we need to make not this stuff there there was some other stuff we need to make to get into actual nuclear power uh to get actually into nuclear power we do need to make this stuff over here the tributyl phosphate which is made out of pyridine benzene phosphoric acid and butanol or it's made out of pyridine phosphoric acid phosphoric chloride oh there's two recipes all right good to know but yeah we need to make this stuff over here Though this recipe over here seems to be the more advanced one because we get three over here every 10 and over here we get one every 0 0.5. What the fuck? How fast is this one? <laughs> um, yeah, this one makes three every 10 and this one makes like two per second. Boom. Though this one over here is cheaper on the butanol. And who knows what else we need in there. And Orihara, hello there. Welcome, 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 welcome. But doesn't Mike's perfectly balanced as everything should be? And that's probably also why we can sometimes get these, these, these conflicting uh, changes every now and then. But it should be fine. It should be fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's maybe, let's maybe start off with the Scron Rigs. We do need the Scron Rigs because we do need them for the Dingrits. Uh, we also do want to hook up the new Potato Farm. That's also a thing we need to do because this thing over here has been sitting around for quite some time. And he really, 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 really wants to be connected up to our system. While we're there, we could also maybe touch up you over here because you kind of broke because pressurized water over there is no longer working as intended. That is different over here now. We also still got the giraffe farm over there, which we've never touched before. And the cadaveric farm over there, which also technically still needs to be implemented or like finalized at least. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do over there. Um, all right. But maybe start with the pocket Scrondrex and also get the Scrondrex farm in. Because if we have got the Scrondrex farm in, then at least we can start working on those on the side. Good. To get the Scrondrex in, we do need to make a couple of Scrondrex Cody. Uh, I already got a couple of parts for that in my pocket, but we need a couple more parts. There we go. Yeah, make like 10 of these. It'll be fine. And then we need to actually print the creature. And that's being done all the way over there. Biosample CD. Oh, great alien samples. I remember. Oh, fuck. Ah, great alien samples. And that was the whole thing where we started working over here on the DNA. Yes. All right. At least we've come full circle now. After, after we did like the quick fix of the factory to make sure that nothing breaks. We can now finally continue on where we left it off last time. And that is, of course, I didn't play this game at all over the weekend. I've actually been indulging myself a little bit too much in Greg Tech New Horizon. Uh, but then again, uh, there is a full new build available to be looked at next Friday. So at least that's that. Good, 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 good. All right, let's work on those retro wiry. Yeah, we were working on the automation of all of the Pi Alien Life chemical parts, medical parts, whatever this is. Gene lab parts. Let's call them gene lab parts. Good, 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 good. All right, fly over here, please. A little bit sad. Every time I look over to the left to check up on, on Stepchat, Stepchat is not there because uh, we had some technical difficulties today and we're streaming only on Twitch for today. I do hope it's going to be fixed by, by, by first day. All right, all right. Yeah, this whole thing is in. So what are you still missing? You're still missing the rock cocoons as well as you're missing some liquid nitrogen. Because you're missing water and you're missing gasoline. We're not even done over here. Did we just stop over here and we just left? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> okay, okay. What do we have over here? Do we have got gasoline over here? No, but we got the cocoons over here. Uh, the cocoons are available, but not connected. Let's get some gasoline in. All right, liquid requester, please. Mm. Here we go. Get those liquids in, please. Now, of course, this will be built via the remote bot, so it's going to take some time for those bots to come over here. It's going to be slightly annoying. But it doesn't really matter too much because we can already start working on this using this as we see fit. 
As long as we connect up the power poles. There we go. This over there goes, that goes, and this connection over there goes. Good. Uh, we do need you. Uh, and we can set your name. Mighty Mike, that's the wrong name. You are going to be Gasoline28 Requester. There we go. We'll be coming over at some point in time. Let's also put the happy tank in because always have always great to have a happy tank over here. And then off we go. Let's go to the other side. And then somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over here. Good, good, good. And then we go downwards. Somewhere over there. And then we go across. I think we did kind of say that we have want to have something similar to a main bus over here. At least put some more effort this time around. I, I guess maybe we're going to put that effort in. You never know how it might end up. Here we go. You go over there. And you go over there. Perfect. That's the gasoline connection almost in. Now it's entirely in. We got a water liquid system over here. We only need to fill up the pipes over here with an appropriate amount of water. There we go. So we hook up you, we hook up you, and then we just need a random water pump somewhere. It can be over here. So let's place it over here. You start making water. There we go. And this water over here needs to go over here. Over there, or that you're around. In you go, in you go. Good. And now we got the tank of water over here. The only thing that's missing over here is the gasoline. And once we got the gasoline over here, this whole thing over here can start spinning. Uh, it does seem that we have some beacons over here. AM, FM, 5 beacons over here. Wow, we are really going for the maximum power over here. And I think we did do some calculation over here that this over here might be enough power over here to make all of this run. It's definitely going to be a decent amount of crafting speed. Do keep in mind we are doing this recipe over here 3.33333 times per second. Uh, we now got a crafting speed of 4.4 over here, but a crafting speed of 2.6 over there. If we put them both together, we get a total crafting speed of 7. So 7 times 3.333, that is something, 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 21, 23, 24 crafts per second, if, if we're using very bad math. Um, and with 24 crafts per second, that's going to be over here, 5 liquid nitrogen times 24, that is 120 liquid nitrogen per second. How much do we need over here? We need... Craft speed is 5. We need 20 per second. We need 160 per second over here. This is not fast enough. The machines have an output that's not being used. Yeah, we also have not connected up the output. That is also correct. Um, wait a minute. If that is what you meant, maybe you meant something else. But yeah, the liquid nitrogen is also not really going anywhere. Um. Is there a pipe over there? No. There you go. The reserves also? The reserves? The reserves? Provishmila, <laughs> the reserves? What reserves? The reverse? The bio reserve reverse. Sorry. The bio reserves? Which bio reserves? Wait a minute. These are should be fine now. These are should also be fine now. Good, 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 good. I mean, the only thing that's missing over here is the liquid nitrogen. So, we could speed this up a bit more. Just crank it up a bit more, and then we're sitting at a decent crafting speed over here. You're getting a bonus from all the way over there. You are getting a bonus from all the way over there. Yeah, total crafting speed over here is 40. And at the crafting speed of 40, we need 160 liquid nitrogen per second. And this one over there is... 15 and then 3 fifths. Is that 3 fifths? That's, that's really bad math. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, 3.33 per second. That is actually, that is a third times 5. That is 1.6666. Boop. That is 16.66667 crafting speed per second. So basically, we need. We need 20% more crafting speed than we need over there. 
but they don't have an output uh, on the right or you blind. On the bio reserves? What bio reserves? There are no bio reserves over here. Uh, you mean these down here? Those machines on the right, yes, these. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, they are missing an output. Yes, 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 yes. They are, they are. Sorry, we've not built that yet. <laughs> Let's build it now. All right, we were making the stuff. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. And we can just use Yellow Lotus over here. Here we go. And we can even put it on the Yellow Belt because it's not going to be going any much faster than this. These are called the Incubators. Here we go. And then we do the same thing over there. Just copy and paste it over. And then we put it together over here on the red belt. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Do we've got a provider over here? Not yet. So let's make ourselves a provider. Oh, the item. The item is called the retrovirus. Here we go. I mean, there's bio samples and there's bio reserves. Uh, this is not really a bio reserve. This is the native flora recipe. Well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, we're making the retrovirus over here because we do need the retrovirus. We also kind of miss stuff over here. Big clown! Thank you so much for the resub, man! Bold be not, I feel good. Bold be not, bada bada bada. Bold be not, I feel so good. Bold be not, so good. Bold be not, so good. Bold be not, yeah. Um, big clown. You're either living in Germany and you finally got into weed smoking, or you've taken the wrong pills, or both. I'm glad you're feeling great, man. <laughs> then I don't need to ask you how you're doing because you already told us. Big Cloud, thank you so much for the lovely resub. And welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, all right. This way we go. Retrovirus. All right, let's also make a copy of this real quick. Mostly so that I know where stuff is. Just an old song in your head and you had to share the earworm. Really? I don't even know the song, I think. <laughs> then again, if it comes to songs, I'm, I'm being very, very terrible. Because ever ever since I fell down that Vocaloid um, hole, I never got, got out of it again. And I don't even recognize any kind of modern song no more. It's usually like, wait a minute. What is this shit? <laughs> I don't recognize this. Good, good, good. All right. Retrovirus automation is done. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's not just yet. This whole thing over here is eating a metric fuck ton of power, and we do kind of want to prevent this place over here of eating a metric fuck ton of power. So we do need to put in some RS latches over there. This is why you return to these streams. It kind of reminds me that uh, you're not really that strange. Ah, tall man, everybody is strange. That's that's the trick. Everybody is is weird. And once you realize that everybody is weird, you can be as weird as you want because then it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yep. All right, a couple of these, a couple of those. This is going to be enough. We got like one, two, three, four, five inputs, one output, six inputs. There we go. Can convert your weirdo, except except uh, Turkey Pilgrim. Uh, he's he's definitely weird. Stay away from him. <laughs> he's shifty, man. <laughs> Agreed. Damn. <laughs> He took the joke out of me. Good, good, good. Now, nah. um, steel. Yeah. No, that is my. <laughs> we can't put that in there. All right, we need some steel in here. Uh, we also need to reset over here for steel. Then in here, there's also the lab equipment. Where is that? Oh, come on. The lab equipment is it in here or is it in there? It's over there, of course. And then more lab equipment. 
Here we go. Then. Wait, that's the wrong lab equipment. Oh, good God. This lab equipment, please. Pay attention, Bolt. Come on. Then, in here, we also got the cocoons. There they are. And these cocoons as well. Then, we got lab glass. Oh, don't press it like that. Uh, glassware. There we go. As well as glassware. Also, we should probably copy-paste this from a better source because these numbers, we all have to adjust. Uh, we are also reliant on gasolina. Um, there we go, there we go. Gasoline and gasoline. We're also dependent on filtration media. Here we go. I do kind of see how, how they are trying to do this in Factorio 2.0 with the... What, what do they call it? The templated blueprints or something like that? Where you can put in some, some, some placeholders over here. And then once you basically pick up the blueprint and you want to put it down, you can like tweak it so that these placeholders over here can be set. Uh, we also need some Petri dishes. Uh, they, they, they basically talked about that in one of their first Friday Factorio facts once the um, Friday Factorio fact update uh, started over again. But the interface they showed us back then was very, very clunky. Like, I was looking at it and was like, yeah, that's a thing you could do, but it looks fucking ugly. I do hope that they're going to try to do that better, because I think it's still a good idea. Um, but yes, there you go. Fix my base yet? Uh, mostly. I mean, we fixed the important parts. There's probably still stuff broken in here. Especially things that require pressurized air or pressurized water, mostly that we are missing, or maybe things that are making pressure rust air and are now pushing their contents into a pipe that's adjacent to them. I don't think that we have that, because usually we do build very... How to put it? Whenever we put down pipes, we always build, like, with more undergrounds than we actually need to, unless we get lazy. Which is good and bad, because it's good, as it kind of means that um, we will probably not have any kind of weird foreign connections. It could be bad, because maybe we got lazy at some point in time, and then we get a weird or bad foreign connection. So that is something we need to look out for in the future. All right, glass well over there, also 16,000, please. There we go. And the templating is cool, but it could still use work. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still working on it as well. All right, you over there, you're going to activate when we're at, like... 80,000, and we're gonna reset when we add like 500. The reset is always fun for these, but, but the set value over here needs a bit of work every now and then. 60,000 over there, and then retrovirus the other way around. We're gonna set you if we are at less than 16,000. So if we do not have enough in here for a shipment, we're gonna start working on a shipment, and we're gonna reset once we hit a triple shipment, which is 48,000. Good. Then combine all of these together. Uh, make the crossover connection, maybe over here, and then you to the pole. There we go. Good old red wire. And then you to there. You to there. There's nothing down there for us to get. You into there. You into there. The only thing that's going to be, of course, a little bit tricky is our liquid system over here. So I think we can just do... Yeah, we can just do... No, we can't. Uh... Actually, no, we can. We can, we can, we can, we can. I'm being stupid. We can use a red wire over here to you. And then we go over here. And then we go wire these little poles over there and into there. And that should give us all the information that we need over here. And then last but not least, we do need the information over here as well. There we go for the retro wires. Retro wires text up to 100. It does. Perfect. All right. All right. Then there's a couple of things we need to do over here. Uh, we want to have a minimum of 16,000 over here. Same for the eggs. Same for you. Uh, laboratory recommend you as well as steel. So they're bringing over some more stuff. 
Then let's put down the lamp over here because we kind of want to see what we're doing over here. Let's maybe also place a lamp over there because we want to see what we're doing over here. Uh, make sure that we connect up all of these together and all of these together. Uh, I guess we can both go into this power pole over there and then from over here we go all the way over there. And then we will have the big main power switch sitting over here somewhere. Where is my power switch? There it is. Yeah, let's put that thing right over there. And then the copper cable. Disconnect you. Connect you. Connect you. Excellent. And then the green cable. Where's the green cable? Green, 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 green. Into there. And we're going to be setting if everything over here is set to 8. So if the set signal is exactly at 8. So if all the criteria for us to be working over here are met... Then we're going to activate. And then this thing over here will be out of power most of the time, which is fine. Uh, so we're only... Re the main reason over here is we, we only want to run these beacons over here if there's actually some work for us to do. And there's like three beacons over there, four, five, six beacons over here. This beacon over here costs us like 200 megawatts. And then this one over there, together with this one over there, is like another 75 megawatts, give or take a little... And then all of these over here are 313 megawatts each. Actually, this one's kind of cheap over here. But since we're running you uh, behind the gate, we might as well just go full tilt over here and just blast you as hard as we can. And now I kind of realize why we did put you onto four over here so that we can also reach the cooling towers over here. There we go. There we go. So this one over here is 250 megawatts and these over here are 300 megawatts. And this whole block over here is costing us about a gigawatt of power. And that's a gigawatt of standing power, that is. And if we don't need to run this all the time and we can turn it on and off, that is going to be perfect. Good. We can also check over here what criteria are already being met over here. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. We're currently waiting on basically all of these over here. And the reason why we're waiting on all of these over there is, well, you do get all the signals. We're missing out on cocoons and we're missing out on glassware. Yeah, we're missing out on a couple of things, which hopefully is going to come in over here soon as well. Good. Yeah, there they all come. So this place over here should be starting up again any second now. Good, 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 good. Next, after retrovirus, what's going to be the next big thing that we're going to be need to make? I mean, we need to, to go all the way up to great alien samples. Uh, and great alien samples are over there. Um, and they require glassware, kyphon, bio samples, good alien samples, DNA polymerized, primers, and stuff like that. Um, plasmids is still something of the more lower end of the spectrum, which we do need for things like... What do we need plasmids for? Uh, we need them, for example, for the cDNA. And mossy gene samples is definitely going to be one thing that's going to be eating a whole bunch of moss. Um, and cDNA... I mean, mossy gene samples is one of the first things we actually end up making. It's just petri dishes and moss... We already got Petri dishes over here. So, sure. Let's make some gene samples over here. That'll be the next step. Wow. That, that was the worst cliff explosion ever. As for the gene samples, or the mossy gene samples, the moss gene samples, those are made in the gene lab. Do we still got the gene lab on us? Sadly, we do not. I'll guess we're just going to be picking up, bringing over the modules afterwards. Quick question about these things over here. We make them at the rate of one per second. We've got a total cost speed of 40 down there, 48 if we can uh, count into productivity modules. But with 40 over there, uh, we would be doing this recipe over here four times per second. That would still consume 80 moss per second. That's a lot of moss. <laughs> that is so much moss. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. 80 moss per second. That is more or less, well, three red belts. Um, if we make it the same size, moss gene samples, what are they all in? Let's have a quick look at those. Moss gene samples are, for example, in usage. Um, they're the first time creation of a couple of things. They are part of cDNA. They are part of... Pacifist... Uh, Pacifist... Yeah. This thing, pacifist juice. <laughs> and they're mostly in upgrades. So except for the pacifist juice over here, which is also part of, I guess, immunosuppressants, zymogens, and the Vonix upgrades. Let's look at you again. 
Immunosuppressants is then part of a bit of a bigger build. But can we make immunosuppressants? Um, no, that's only being done by this, but... Yeah, it should be fine. Why, why can you overload the operator bracket, but not the operator bracket bracket? I thought it was free to blow your own exhaust, but no. The bracket bracket operator is the same operator. It's just the bracket operator. Yes, the only, the only thing is this is the bracket operator. The bracket bracket operator is just the bracket operator performed twice. Yeah, because it doesn't exist, exactly. You're just performing the bracket operator twice. <laughs> There we go. All right. Yeah, so it seems it mostly goes into cDNA. So if we match that to cDNA over here, we do need five MOS gene samples, or 0.5 per second over here. If we put down a crafting speed of 40 over here, we're going to be making four per second over here. If we put a crafting speed of 40 over here for this one over here, uh, we're going to need 20 per second. Wow, MOS gene samples are kind of expensive. Then again, I don't really think that we are going to be needing it that often. Especially with all the moss. I don't really want to bring in that much moss. I think we're just going to continue on with like a 2x8 build for the moss gene samples as well. And if we do notice that we do need more of them, we just make more of them. Uh, yeah, but CDNA is for animals. Yeah, CDNA does go in a lot of things. That is also very true. Um, but we're not going to be... Yeah, let's go back to CDNA real quick. Let's maybe have a look at CDNA as well. I mean, CDNA is in Dynamicin, Anodyne... Ugh, CDNA is really everywhere. All right. Option number two. If we're not going to be ferrying around all that moss. How about we make the moss samples right over here? We got the space. This is where we make moss. This is where we make loads and loads and loads of moss. As much moss as we can carry. I don't really want to be ferrying around all that moss in these trains. Just for... Yeah, we we're bringing the moss gene samples in via train. So we're skipping moss gene samples and we're going straight over to cDNA. And then most gene samples will be coming in via train. I think that makes more sense. I'm a little bit curious to see that you are still not working. Uh, you're good. You're good. The only thing that's missing is lab equipment. Yeah, but you should be ready to go. There's 28,000 over there. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I see the issue. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we're gonna set you if you are more equal more than 60,000 over here. We're gonna reset you when you're lower. There we go. <laughs> now it's working again. And now they're also working at full speed. I'm a little bit curious about... <laughs> How is your animation this broken and your animation is this smooth? <laughs> I mean, this guy over here, he's fine. This guy over here, uh, he's, he's occasionally running out. I think that's the reason. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. There you go. There you go. Yeah, liquid nitrogen is also backing up. And that is a lot more retrovirus than I would have expected over here. Did we do a miscalculation over here? We're making three per second over here. Six. Oh, yeah. Twelve. <laughs> Plus 20%. Uh, that makes 13.2. Yeah, that's, that's barely under a yellow belt. And then together, it's barely under a red belt. But that's great. That is so much retrovirus. All right, CDA is next. Do we need anything special for CDNA in terms of 
liquid inputs. Now it's it's just uh, it's it's a lot of bashing stuff together, but it's just bashing stuff together. We do need plasmids though. So before we do CDNA, we do plasmids first. Plasmids over here. Is there a better recipe for plasmids? Because some of these do get better recipes in the future. Plasmids, craft. Now there's only one recipe, and it's just this. 12 plus 20 percent is 14.4, not 13.2. Yes, because I only added the 20 percent once. I, I basically did 10 percent and added 10 percent. I should have added another 10 percent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is there? Okay, we have a French over here. Let's blueprint stuff over here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. So if plasmids is going at full speed, that's going actually in the bio factory. That's the wrong machine over here. We actually got the wrong machine over here. Plasmids. We can just copy paste over the plasmids that we're making over there. There we go. One, two, three. That should be fine. Uh, we're definitely going to be running this thing over here at full speed as well. Let's also double check at where plasmids are in. Plasmids are required in a couple of things. It's required in science, cDNA, cytostatics, growth factor later on, xenogenic cells, mostly xenogenic cells. So it's, it's not in that many things. That's good. Uh, this setup over here, if we've got the crafting speed of 40 in total again, we're going to be doing this recipe five times per second. Um, and I think it's fine. I think that's fine. So our crafting speed setup of 40 over here, I think it's going to be fine. So we're going to have something like this. Uh, we're going to need glassware, laboratory instrument, and incubated petri dishes. Um, even if we're going at a crafting speed of five over here, each machine individually, we would still need less than one per second of each. So we could either go, let's just go for, in, for an insert to build for this one. We just go like one, two, three over there, one, two, three over there, and then we just pull a belt through. And we're, we're still going with stack inserts over here because I, I'm pretty sure that we will need stack inserts over here at some point in time. And we're already going to do this with red belt. I mean, we could do this with a yellow belt. The yellow belt would be more than fast enough, but we're just going to use a red belt over there. And Fairrock Storm Dragon, hello there. What are we focusing on today? Wait a minute. Megatron, remind me what we're focusing on today again. And also, please blame Not Not Melon for something again. There we go. <laughs> Good, good, good. As for the output, um, they can all share the same output over there. You over there, you over there. You over there, and you over there. And we're just going to put this on the red belt as well. Good. Uh, the build will be something, 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 something like this. Uh, let's put some poles around. You're a little bit too off. We're focusing on improving our skills, unlike Not Not Melon, who couldn't fine tune a ham radio. Their contributions to increasing our overall progress are as beneficial as a Viking battle cry at a mouse convention. <laughs> it's their fault our offensive strategies blurrier than the memory when King Arthur was actually competent. Remember, this folly truly traces back to King Arthur. But yeah. why stop blaming our favorite buffoon, Not Not Melon, now? <laughs> Remember, viewers, keep your sights focused, unlike Not Not Melon, when faced with a task more complex than counting their own gears. The horror, the blame. Yes, I, I mean, the main focus today is still going to be working on the Pi Alien Life Part Automation. Uh, we're basically going to be making like one big machine over here that's going to be making all the parts that we need. We're going to be exporting all of the parts and we're going to be internally importing them again. Uh, so they're all going to be built over here in one big stack. That is just a deconstruction pile over there. That's fine. Um, so that we have everything available over here because a lot of these basically share their inputs. So we're going to have something, something, something similar to a bus over here uh, where the trains are bringing stuff in over here. And we're just going to make as many parts over here as we can. That is our main focus. But before we started doing that, we had to focus on fixing up the base, the entire base, because there was a Pi update and it broke fucking everything. Uh, and the thing that broke was these water pumps over here. They now have a side connection for the water instead of like an opposite connection. 
And since they're part of power plants, we basically have to fix all of our power plants. At least we got our own protection in here in place in terms of these uh, pie tanks over there. So we had enough time to fix everything, so we were good. But still, uh, yeah, it was kind of a shitty... Well, it, I like the change, like I said, I do like the change. Mostly because it does allow you to make now for more compact uh, builds with these pressure pumps. Do we have some others? Sadly, we do not. But for example, if you just wanted to make like a more compact version of, of getting like pressurized water in. Uh, you can just like do this and then you can do like this. And you can make like a big, big, massive block of pressurized water now like this. Well, actually, this will not work because you would need to put the power pole in the middle. So then you would need to do this, and then the power pole would be over here. And then you would need to pile some, some, some pipes over here, but then you kind of realize that this over here will not ever, ever work because they got the same bug again they had ages ago where pipes in between two of these buildings over here just don't work. <laughs> pipes over here just don't work. <laughs> Note to self, don't drink and type, misblaming. Nah, yeah. We can blame whoever we want. Here we go, here we go. Just use infinity pipes. Yeah, like they do in the, in, 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 in the preview builds. Just have an infinity pipe. Would pumps work? I think a pump would work. A pump in between would most likely work. But that's because how the way the pump the, the pump works. So we could test. We we are not close there yet, but we can test the next time we're over there, just to see if a pump works or not. I'm almost sure it will, but I can't say for certain myself. So no guarantees. All right, we do need the liquid requester. We do need one liquid requester over here for uh, what should we call it for the Zochner bacteria, and then for the plasmids. What else do we need? Incubate the petri dishes. That is one more request over here. I would assume pumps would be working mostly because the pumps do work in magnificent ways if you try to pump out liquids out of a machine. So I would assume the pumps will be working, but maybe they don't. Okay, let's downgrade to you and let's put this one over there. There we go. Is misblaming just blaming someone else for the wrong reasons? In that case, we're doing everything right. <laughs> nah, it, it, it's one of those spontaneous breaking updates from our side. Like, like if, if, if they can break the base, we can blame whoever we want. <laughs> it's only fair, man. It's only fair. I mean... If they would not want to be blamed for anything, well, then maybe don't introduce any breaking changes. Or at least introduce them in a way that people can basically act upon and maybe use double recipes or something like that. Then it will be fine. If you're not that melon, does it mean you're a melon or does it mean you're really not a melon? Well, if you're a melon, well, just don't be a carp. <laughs> Some of you have breaking changes heard about the XE thing? Yes, that was a lot of fun. I was kind of surprised how XZ does um, their builds because it seems that that they they still build the package while they're testing code, which is kind of interesting. Or maybe they didn't really look too deep into it. I only saw like the infographic. Uh, I think Simrock was uh, that posted it, it into my Discord. But yeah, that there was some 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 malicious code introduced in in a compression library, which is being used by everybody. The team is responsible for the output, after all. True, true, true. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. But yeah, that XZ thing, that was a lot of fun. And it was also such an interesting way how they did it. I mean, for, for everybody who did not like like know what was going on. It was basically um, uh, a security risk, a breach, a backdoor installed in one of the most used compression libraries for version of data in, in servers or in Linux environments, which is basically everything. Absolutely everything. It's, it's used on every server out there. <laughs> it's one of the base, base, base tools. And the way they did it is um, some malicious person, let's just call him like that, a malicious person, because it's not we've quite sure if the account itself was that person or if that account has been hacked. Doesn't matter what it is. 
But some malicious person uh, introduced a change to the compression library. And that change basically contained an implementation of a new function, which was required for something. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, and of course, it needed to be tested, so it came with its own test. And to make sure that everything's working, you basically do the full test. So basically, you, you got like a file that you decompress to check that it's working, a file that you decompress that is maybe corrupted and stuff like that. So basically, you attach some zip files to it. And one of those um, zip files that were corrupt, uh, that were used for a test to, to test if the zip file is corrupt, basically was not actually corrupt at all. It, it was corrupt if you try to open it normally, but if you like bit shift a couple of bits in there, suddenly that corrupt file turned into an actual valid file. And they used that actual valid file to introduce some changes. <laughs> they haven't built or performed any init ID files or candle from source. Yeah. It was intrusive a performance improve improvement with malicious test data. Exactly, exactly. So basically, um, part of the of the testing suite then had like this this um, this this primed test data, which of course, if you would manually inspect it, it would still be like false data, which is correct because that was the intent behind it. It had to be false data. Uh, but then there was an automation script, an M4 script installed as well, which bit shifted some of those bits in that archive, which turned it into a, a correct archive. And then the test itself that was used, uh, that was using that archive, basically extracted that zip file and put the contents of that zip file into like um, the library. And not only that, it um, also basically added itself to the library archive, which means it was packaged into the library file of the, of the compression library. So it was just sitting in there, happ happily. <laughs> was using a, a, a glibc hook to connect to an SSH certification? Yeah. After that, it gets very, very technical. <laughs> but basically, it was more or less a Trojan horse. <laughs> it was pretty much a Trojan horse. Well, the Trojan horse itself was just some test data that was in a, looking correct to be invalid, but was actually not invalid. But what I'm wondering more is, is how they actually managed to, to still be able to affect the package or the library archive itself. Because in my opinion, and this is only my opinion, but, but once you start testing like your software, you should be at the point where you no longer change your own archive or you should no, no longer be able to change your own archive. Um, as, I mean, if you can still change your archive, your tests can still be affected, in, in my opinion. Um, so, in my opinion, it could all have been prevented by, by just having, like, a better project setup, but, well, who knows. How long was the vulnerability in the software before it was discovered? I don't know. I didn't really check up too much, much uh, of it too much. Actually, it is in the infographic. It wasn't too long. I think it was only three months, if I remember it correctly. Where is it? The infographic basically had everything in it that you needed. There it is. Yeah, it was in there for maybe a month or two. I mean, the 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 the, the horse itself, the, the the part with the malicious code, was in there for longer. But the, the final parts to make it all work, that only got introduced like a month or two ago. Yeah. And just random luck it got caught in 99.99 parallel universes. It's going to be an old prod service in two years. It's probably still going to be in a lot of prod servers uh, for years because it did get officially released. And you always know that there's always going to be like some kind of lazy admin out there that will never update its stuff. And he's probably still using like a corrupt file. So it, it's going to be around for a while. It's definitely going to be around for a while. Uh, Zokna Bacteria Requester. There we go. And Zeus Linux only for about five years. <laughs> I also checked up at my workplace on my client site if, if anybody was talking about that. Nobody. <laughs> nobody was talking about that. I didn't check up if, if, the, um, if, the, if the software we're using is also having that issue. Um, I might need to talk to some people tomorrow. <laughs> Since it's not really my, my objective of, of stuff to do, I'm just letting people work for now. But, but maybe, maybe somebody needs a hint. Who knows? Um, Petri dish to aid requester. Lucifer Senpai, hello there. How are you doing?
It didn't get included in any relevant list, uh, Linux server distro? Yes. <laughs> if you're running unstable Linux system prod, you got other problems. Also true. Also true. I should check if you already have patched against. Isn't that longer? I'm probably sure I'm already patched against that because Arch should usually do that. I just tested. I got a root on ours. Ooh. Well, um, how to put it? Uh, the red, the red circuit server I'm also running, which is just running like like some 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 um, some some some. Uh, communication stuff. That thing is definitely unaffected because that is running such an old stable SID image. <laughs> we probably have other issues to worry about that one over there. And what is this one over there? This one is the universal local proof of escalation, proof of concept, exploit for blah, blah, blah. Work on most Linux kernels between 5.14 and 6.6, .6, including Debian Crown. Okay. Did not know about this one yet. I'll take a look at it afterwards. All right, all right, all right. We're getting distracted again. I do like that, but we're getting super distracted again. Unfortunately, XC overshadows this. Yes, it does. I mean, to be fair, it's it's also the um, uh, the more expressive hack, or well, not really hack, but 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 um, how to put it act more or less because the trojan horse is always 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 like way more impressive than something like oh yeah we escalated our root privileges over here and people go like eh a trojan horse where <laughs> and then people just go like oh that sounds way cooler than that good 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 all right you over there uh we could split we could also oh, let's use a splitter why not here we go. Let's just use the splitter. All right, you're connected. What else do we need? We need the Petri dishes, the incubated one. We need the laboratory equipment, which is all the way over here. And we also do need... Yeah, let's just make... Where are they? Oh, we're running out of red, uh, red splitters over here. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, let's pull you in from all the way over there. In you go. Good, 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 good. Mm, over here, please. You over there. And then the other thing that we need is the glassware. The glassware is all the way over here. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to put down a splitter somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over here. We might need its own belt over here. Who knows? Well, we're going to go like this. Also, don't use this much underground. Yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, actually, <laughs> we're going way too far, man. <laughs> Let's put this in the top so that we have a little bit of an alternate, uh, alternating thing going on over here. Here we go. Let's pull you back a little bit more. Put you over there. Cut you over there, cut you over there, cut you over there, cut you over there. There we go. And that requires them getting into the first place, though. Yeah, but but I mean, as soon as you get, like, as soon as you even get shell access or something like that, the amount of stuff you can already do once you get shell access is, is already incredible. So never underestimate that as well. All right, then. The only thing that's missing over here is the incubated petri dishes. Um, I don't think we've got the train for that yet. Never mind, we do. He's sitting over here. Um, he's just a bit slow. That's what's going on over here. We might also finally need to improve this whole setup over here. Then again, it's already going at a decent rate. We already got tier two machines over here. We already got beacons over here. All going at, well, a tremendous rate to say the least. And I'm also kind of surprised that these belts over here are full, but these belts over here are only full because this train has just arrived and is currently loading. That's the only reason. There we go. Here we go. Good. And then these over here are also looking fine. That is all good as well. It's a little bit silly. The stuff from over here gets <laughs> picked up over here. It's getting brought over there. 
Uh, well, so be it. So be it. Good. And with that, we got the plasmid done. This over here also needs to be gated. So we're going to put the gate over there. We're also going to be putting down a provider over here. Just so that we can start providing the stuff. And for you to well orchestra as a multi prog attack, this is the scary part. Yes, I mean, keep in mind that there was, there is somebody out there that was trying to do something like that. And usually, I mean, usually the way people try to hide what they're actually trying to do is by just doing it to as many people as possible so that everybody gets affected and you don't really know who the actual target was, but, but somebody out there is definitely targeting something. So that's definitely something that is scary. There you go. It's missing a loader. That's also true. Yeah. <laughs> Red Hat and Demon distributions? Yep. And not only that, I mean... Absolutely, but it will probably be a less common uh, <laughs> to the wild lock for j Yeah, that was also a thing. There's many people like that, also in government related organizations. Yeah, but, but then you get to the speculation part. I mean, it could, of course, be anybody. And, of course, a, a lot of names could pop up. But sadly, uh, you will probably not find any hard proof. <laughs> That's the annoying part. All right, that's going to be the provider over here. So this place over here should be working now. Oh, yeah, we can see the plasmids. So from over there to over there. There we go. And then let's get these plasmids. First of all, the plasmids will be going into the train station in case we need them somewhere else. Uh, let's also copy paste over you a bit and you a bit. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there is some stuff over there. Ancient remains. How much ancient remains? A bit, a bit. We're actually kind of running out of train space over here. <laughs> we might end up putting even more train stations over here. Uh, or maybe even double stacking over here. I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> uh, but there, 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 might, there might be a need for, for more stuff over here. All right, we're going to need the provider over here. Actually, no, the provider is already over here. That's you over there. So we're going to be putting you... Let's pull in the reverse. It's always nice to put these in, in reverse. There we go. All over there. Over there, please. Rotate you around. And then we go all the way over there. By the way, over the weekend, I mean, of course, uh, there was a whole bunch of, of family stuff, of course, which was mostly boring. But on Saturday, I did meet up with my friends again, and we went out um, go, go to grab ourselves some fancy pizzas and some drinks. And it was a lot of fun on Saturday. However, uh, I kind of had a bit of a restaurant mishap, let's call it like that. Like, we went to this, this really, really nice pizzeria place, and I was like, all right, uh, we're, we're going to get some appetizers first, and then we're going to get ourselves, like, a, a really, really nice pizza and stuff like that. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I looked at the appetizers and was like, eh, nah, nah. I saw that on the menu they had some pulled pork pizza buns, and I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. I'm like, yeah, that's, maybe as an appetizer, get some pulled pork pizza buns, because why not? Uh what I, what I didn't realize is the size of those fucking pizza buns. <laughs> it was basically a full-size pizza. Uh, because usually when I think pizza buns, for, especially from any kind of pizzeria, it's usually like these, these bite-sized things, like usually 10 of them. Now, this was like six massive strudels full to the brim of pulled pork. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was already struggling after I've ate like the appetizers. And then the pizza came, which was absolutely amazing, but... <laughs> what did I get for dessert? Ice cream. And there was, of course, space for dessert. I'm, I'm not quite sure how that even works. Like, I was completely full of stuff, and I was like, I can't eat no more. But dessert still fits. What the fuck, man? The human body is so weird sometimes. 
There we go. Um, pom, 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 pom. You just go like, yeah, this don't fit no more, but, but that, that, that dessert over there? Yeah, that'll fit. More like bao buns? Uh, it was more like, I, I mean, it, it was basically enough dough in those pizza buns for our entire pizza. Let's put it like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Into the dessert stomach they go. Yes, there must be a thing. Because even though I was completely full and really did not have any, any more appetite, yeah, I like an ice cream? Yeah, that definitely works in there. A broken belt? Really? Where? If you mean this one down there, that one is just ending over there. I see no broken belt in there. I've got a missing belt. Ah, a missing belt is different than a broken belt. And yeah, the bots will fix that. I don't care about that. That's what the bots are for. Uh, by the way, this place over here is still missing the most important part. Uh, where are they? Fish, bosh, bosh, fish, fish, bosh, bosh, fish. There we go. Give me 20% extra productivity over here, please. Here we go. Here we go. We also need to power gate the stuff over here, like we did down here. So, yes. Mm. Mm. Ah, uh, should be fine. Good, 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 good. So what do we need over here? We can already copy and paste a couple things over here. We can copy and paste over you. Put you over there. We can copy and paste over the laboratory equipment. There we go. Put it over there. Uh, we can use this for the Zogna bacteria. Yeah, that's delicious. Perfect. Uh, filtration means is required, and this one over here could be done for the other pet reducers in here. Put you over there. And then we need one for the product, and then we can just copy-paste most of this over. This is only like one, two, three, four inputs. One, two, three, four, and one output, five. Perfect. Time to power gate you. So this over here, this is not going to be gasoline. This is going to be uh, Zogna bacteria. Thank you very much. Same for over here. You are going to be Zogna bacteria. You over there, you're gonna be the incubated petri dishes. Use these, please. And you over there, incubated petri dishes as well. These are still the same, and instead of retrovirus over here, we are making... What's it called again? Shit. I forgot. <laughs> um, It's gonna be called... Plasmids? Plasmids. Here we go. Plasmid, please. Thank you very much. All right. Hook all of these up. You go over there. You go into there. You go into there. You go into there. You go across. Hook up all the green wires over here as well. Pom, pom, pom. Pom, pom, pom. You go over there and over there. That's all in. We're then going to have a power switch over here in the middle. Something, 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 something over there. And then let's hope this will reach. You reach. And you reach. There we go. So Java's basically the bane of the world. Java's definitely a thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can program in Java and you can program in something fun. <laughs> and the attack symbol reminds you of the plugins and Atlassian products uh, can stack and interact. Yeah, Atlassian products is also one of those things where I usually go like, what the fuck is going even on over here? It, it makes no sense whatsoever. It runs on 8 billion devices or something like that. Yes, but those are 8 billion old devices. <laughs> Who cares on how many devices your stuff runs? All right. Um, and then we do need to connect up this wire over here to... Wait a minute, there's nothing over here. We could go down over here. And hook you up to there. Why not? This should work. Mm, red wire, please. There it is. And most of the device's phones. True. There we go. At least you now got some information over here. We can already set up a view over there. You're missing the green wire. Wait a minute. There we go. You're only going to be set if the set signal over here is exactly at five.
There we go. And then we just need to hook up more of this stuff over here together. There we go. So we already got you over there. So we do need to do the same fancy trick over here again. Red wire over there. Red wire into the air. Into you. Over to you. And then... Into... You. You go into the plasmids. There we go. And I think that's all the information that we need over here. Good, good, good. Power still broken? No, 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 no. We're power gating over here. The power's fine. It was a quick fix for the power. We're very good for power. Though, not... Well, some things are maybe a little bit weird. Let's check up on power real quick. I mean, these over here should be running again. Though these are not main power plants. Those are just burn-off power plants. These over here should be running again. But this is also more or less just a burn-off place. This one is the important one. This one should be running. This one is running... A bit low, but I think that's fine. Because we are using three quarters of our power, so three quarters of the power plant should be running as well, which is correct. Mm. So that is fine. Then the burn everything power plant over here. That seems to be running fine as well. Um, The power plant over here. Yeah, you have the same issue. Only parts of you should be running. Wait a minute, this one feels a bit off. Why are you not running? Output full. Alright. Your output is going... Where's the output going? It's going up to these. Your output... Oh, your output is actually full. Never mind. <laughs> you don't need to be running if your stuff is full. Nah, you seem to be fine as well. In your experience with writing C++ is it was worse than with the bits of Java you did in recent years, but dogmatically enforced object operations is never fun. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. I mean, the things that Java does, and does quite well, is, is that everything is an object, and if you use that pattern, and you know what, what power you can get out of that, you're probably going to be fine with that. Uh, C++, you can... I've seen a lot of code that's written in C++ with basically Java code. <laughs> Where they do the exact same thing that Java does, just in C++, and that works. It works as well. But there's always the right language for the right problem. And it's not always C++. Sometimes it is Java. Sometimes it is Kotlin. Sometimes it's Rust. Sometimes it's Python. It's usually always... The, the, the biggest problem is usually finding the correct language for the problem you want to solve. Because just because you know one language very well does not mean you can use it for everything. And C++ is absolutely amazing for embedded. Because you already have like um, not that many resources and you don't really have that much speed. And you need to interact with, with, with hardware registers most of the time, so it's great. And doing that in Java, you can do that in Java as well, but... Yeah, why? <laughs> Bash is also good for embedded, or Ash. You can also do quite a bit of stuff in Bash. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what you use, as long as you can use it effectively. And if that is Bash, let it be Bash. If that is Java, let it be Java. I mean, it's e always easy to patch another language for its weird features. Very true. But if you've got a project running in that, and it's easy to maintain, and easy to edit, and easy to work with, you're doing good. <laughs> and Jay enjoys C, surprisingly, but it might be partially down to the lectures you had. Yeah, the thing about C is, everything you can do in C++, you can do in C, technically. <laughs> but you have to do it all for yourself. <laughs> also, what are we looking for? I'm looking for the uh, other thing over here. Um, there you go. Yeah, Vanadium build. The Vanadium build is definitely prottling, but I would not really say it's running good. Um, yeah, the, the the power of C is is its simplicity. Like, if you only use C for like one specific problem problem in mind, and only for that problem problem, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. But once you start making like big software suites out of C alone, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be horrible. <laughs> It's going to be absolutely horrible. All right, what's, what's wrong over here? Uh, your output is full. That's great. Which means your output is full. Yes, your output is full. Your output is not full. Wait a minute. How's your output full? But your output is not full. Because you're missing something. You're missing ammonia. And the reason why you're missing ammonia is... 
I mean, aren't we making ammonia over here? Uh, we used to be making ammonia over here. But you're also missing stuff. You're missing... What are you missing? You're missing formic acid. And formic acid over here isn't running because it's missing sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid over here isn't running because that is coming from over here somewhere. From over, It's probably because it comes out of one of those weird 1-1 one -one stations, isn't it? Um, This one, uh, yeah, it's coming out of a weird 1-1 one -one station. Unless this is... No, no, no. Did we not put down the sulfuric acid station over here just to work on that exact issue? I thought for sure we had the sulfuric acid issue, um, acid station over here for that. Let's see. Uh, there's an acid gas station over here. That is a requester over there. Over there, not over there. None of these. Not you, none of these. There's a provider for sulfuric acid over here. Okay, maybe we talked about it and we just never did it. <laughs> Could be very much the case, but there needs to be a sulfuric acid request over here somewhere. I mean, we do have a sulfuric acid request all the way over there, but I don't really want to be using that one over there. Hmm. Yeah, there needs to be some sulfuric acid over here. Okay, let's do that later. It likes to do it to its simplicity as well, but it's difficult to be productive with big projects. Yeah, exactly. The trick usually there is um, if, if you need something that needs to be simple or, or can be unitized or made into like a unit, uh, you can write it to C, but if you want to interface it with other stuff, you will probably want to wrap it into something like C++ or Python or Java um, and just make that like its specific thing. And that's actually the one thing I really do enjoy the most, like a, a really nice uh, heterogenic uh, code base. Because there's always the best language for the best problem. Or there's always the language for the problem you try to solve. And as long as you're not overdoing it, just putting like wrappers or like adapters in between will just help quite a bit for multiple reasons, actually. Like the moment you put in like some kind of interface between like uh, an implementation component and something that uses it, you can easily switch it out for something else. Like if you, for example, have like a C implementation of something that does something for you, great. Use that, and if you find something better, good, swap it out, and just make sure the interface fits again, and you're gonna be gone. But that's usually sometimes where things just kind of break apart quite hard. Also, why, why are we looking at this? <laughs> I'm losing track of shit again. Um, because we are waiting on stuff over there. Yes, that's why. There we go, there we go, because you over there, you're not ordering up enough stuff. And C++ looks like an ugly bloated abomination in terms of syntax and how many features has been stacked into the thing over and over and over. The polar opposite of C language simplicity? Yes. So then again, you don't need all of those features. And most of the time, people don't even know how to use those features exactly. I mean, there's a lot of magnificent features in C++. And they all have the reason to be in there. But most people don't really tend up using them because it's just they they just go like why even use this and then they start basically writing weird C code in C plus <laughs> plus. Good 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 and that's the thing I mostly see most of the time like people that write just weird C code in C plus plus, and that's usually where you get like the absolute code abominations that are out there from. Here we go, here we go. All right, yeah, this one is actually ready to work if we had some more lab equipment, but that is fine, that is fine. It's working as intended, so you're good to go. So laboratory equipment, that's the thing that we're doing all the way over there. Uh, that's the thing we're currently not doing over here. And the reason why we're not doing this over here is because, why? Uh, because this belt is empty. Is that the rubber belt? Is that the massive, massive, stupid rubber belt? That is the massive, massive, stupid rubber belt. The rubber belt is currently not doing... You're waiting at the provider. You're being... That looks kind of odd. What's going on over here? All right, you're being filled up. Your open signal over here is wrong. That's fine. But we're not really doing any rubber production over here. Why are we not doing any rubber production over here? All of this looks kind of full. So, why would it work over here? Your output is full. Your output is full. That's great. 
Oh, wait. Is that maybe because of this half belt? Yes. What are we missing over here? Is it latex? That is latex. How the fuck are we... Ah, you gotta be shitting me, man. Let me guess. There's something fell into the machine? No, but something almost fell into the machine. Um, you're not running because you are missing a prerequisite. Your prerequisite that's missing over here is going to be the formic acid, I think. Do we not make formic acid over here? We do make formic acid over here. Um, and formic acid over here is not running for reasons. Okay, we have to go through the step-by-step -step shit. All right, sodium alginate. Sodium alginate does not really seem to be the problem because we're backed up on sodium alginate. That's great. Formic acid over here. Formic acid over here is missing, I guess, sulfuric acid. No, sulfuric acid is entirely full. Former meat is also there. Um, so why are we not making any of this stuff over here? Because your former meat over here is not full enough. Because you don't have enough former meat in the place that's making former meat, which is this place. You over there, you are not full enough. The reason why you're not full enough is, is because these over here are not working. These over here are not working because they are missing out on vanadium. Um, and we're missing out on vanadium because... We're missing out of ammonia. <laughs> Remember that thing I just was talking about that we should do later? We're doing it now. I doubt there are many people, if there are any, that know all the features of C++ and how to properly use them. Yeah, I, I mean... Uh, yeah, I, I'm in the same boat. I should know better, because I do use C++ as one of my main languages for everything. But some of those features in there are either meant to optimize performance of certain tasks that you never really run into performance issues in the first place, unless you really, really, really work on them. Uh, and, and other things over there, uh, features just make things easier to work with, like like threat management and stuff like that. So that has already been in for quite a while. I mean, they've now also got the coroutines, I think, in C++ as well. There was definitely an update to that. And they got now the, the modules in place as well, which makes including way easier, because include hell is still a thing in C++. Include hell is, is an absolute hell, if you're not careful. Also, my teams is still on. Heinrich says hello. <laughs> For everybody who else is now currently checking their, their teams, no, it wasn't my side. There we go, there we go. Tell them Twitch chat says hello back. <laughs> It doesn't think really that they deal with include hell. Well, I mean, the, the powerful thing about C++ is um, you got like all these static code analysis tools. Um, and one of those is include what you use, which we use extensively. I said the Twitch URL. <laughs> and that basically manages uh, all the includes for you. Uh, it basically goes, it basically scans your code and goes like here. These, these headers you've included over here, nobody's using them in this file. Kick them out. It also makes it so that your header files themselves are mostly clean, so that your own header files do not come in with any additional dependencies to other header files, which is great. An 8-line C file and 2500H file? Yes. But you can imagine that it could happen? Yes, I mean, if, if, if you're careful, or if you, like, use a, at least a little bit of... of, of um, I like, like, how do you call it? If you're at least being honest about yourself when you're looking at your code and you read your own code, you do know what includes you need, you need and what you don't. But it's just so much easier to just use a tool for it and then just kick stuff out. You never got to work on Windows? Last time you checked it was only available on Linux? Ah, sorry about that, man. But then again, I mean, you should be able to work, make the work on the Windows. I mean, just run like a, a Linux subsystem on Windows and boom, you're done. NPM goes, Brr. oh God, NPM. <laughs> I just want to install this one package, please, and then it installs like a thousand packages. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. We don't need the retro virus in there. Any bees in there?
And you should clean up the pipe for the imports. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you got things for that for any language out there. And, and that's just tools you can use. I mean, it's always great that there are, that there are all these magnificent things out there for, for C++. I mean, we also got one tool, a static code analysis tool that also basically tells us what we should replace things with. I mean, sometimes, I mean, you know how it is, especially during development. You write a piece of code and you're like, yeah, it should be something like this. And you're like, yeah, this is the intention I want to do. And then the static code analysis tool goes over and goes like, ah, I see what you did there. You've written some old C code out there. Here, use this. <laughs> also, why is Nugget on? No, oh, never mind. And Ghost amazing too. However, whoever came up with Ghost date format deserves a special place in hell. <laughs> uh, I never really got into Go. I mean, Go. People speak good about Go all the time, and I just sit there and go like, yeah, it's fine. I don't need it. It was also really that one thing in, in, in my university education where everybody was going around the around, so like here. We're doing this project in Go. And I'm like, can't, can't we do it in C? No, we're doing it in Go. Oh. <laughs> but I don't know Go. You're going to learn it. It's university. Yes. But it's going to take forever. We're going to do it in Go. Oh. <laughs> you learned in Golang uh, since two weeks ago? Nice. You're both of the language specifics now, and you're writing secret plugins for uh, Hashi's Vault. I see, I see, I see. Thankfully, now we got Bun on Windows with Bun 1.1, uh, and we don't have to use NPM anymore. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know things about Windows. <laughs> Last time I've actually had an active Windows P PC in, in my network over here, more than 10 years ago. <laughs> wrong i mean again use the tool you want to use if that is windows perfect use windows but i just enjoy myself my links over here and then the sudden go and it really should have been on the c++ but uh it's just easy and then you need to interface the c++ code anyway <laughs> oh where are we i'm just flying around like an idiot uh, are we where we want to be? We, we're over here somewhere. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, that's why I'm not seeing myself. There we go. Perfect. We are exactly where we want to be. Mm, we need to put down a station. I, I'm pretty sure there is a station for sulfuric acid over here that's ordering sulfuric acid for these guys. I, I got this, 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 this premonition or this memory in the back of my head that I already did this once. I will guess we're going to do it again. Can we place the train station right over here? Can we get one in over here? Liquid requester. Um, mostly? Ah, it's, there's a couple of pipes going this way. I don't want to fuck around with that. I'm just going to break something again. All right. You also got these stations over here. What, you are a provider, aren't you? Yeah, you are a provider, but you're also empty, so we can't, we can't tap into you. We could try to tap into the sulfuric acid that's coming from all the way over here. Now yeah, you're empty. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, is sulfuric acid an issue again? Oh, please don't. Please don't be an issue again. Then over here we got acid gas. Not the same thing. Mm. And then we don't really want to build over here because this main line will be continuing on over here. So this is a more or less reserved space. And one more thing, Bolt. Did I, did I steal another shawarma, mate? I mean, I will gladly steal another shawarma. Hmm. We maybe put something over there? No, we... Yeah, that's correct. What's the best biomass source of logistics science? At logistics science? Do you already got key calc? I mean, the best biomass source by far is still key calc. Key calc makes loads of stuff. Like, almost infinite. <laughs> but if you just want biomass, cheap and fast, sap. Just do sap. Oh, one thing at a time. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm doing way too many things at the same time. <laughs> and Kikok is Pi 1. All right. Tier 1 is always... Uh, is, um, alien life is always crap. Yeah. Now, nah, you're probably going to be good with Sap. Sap makes a lot of biomass. Did we not put... No. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. 
Oh. Oh. There's some sulfuric acid right over there. Let's use that. If we get to two, two, two trains, uh, the free tree recipe is nice as well. True, true, true. We never really got into tier three trees. Uh, trees. We got to stop at tier two. <laughs> I was so happy to see like the higher tier recipes in there. Finally, after they've been in Pi Alien Life for so long, and then we never used them. Uh, let's not build over here because that is technically main line. We can build in here. Not like that. There we go. All right, let's maybe build in reverse. It will be easier. Because we need to connect up to the sulfuric acid requester, which is... Not you. Was it over here? Or was it over there? It was over here. There it is, this one. We need to tap into... You. Oh, wait, there's a pipe over here already. There's a pipe going this way. Where's this pipe going? One moment, please. That pipe is going into etching solution. All right, all right, all right. Ed really? Etching solutions connect up like that? What the fuck? All right, but we can just pull this pipe over there, all the way over there. And we should be fine. I kind of have the feeling we're, we're doubly connecting up this connection over here. So be it, so be it. Uh, yeah, well, this pipe is definitely empty. Uh, let's move you back. Actually, no, let's keep you over there. Let's open up you a little bit more. Because I think we can place a pump over there. Yes, we can. Just to prevent backflow. Here we go. Off you go. That should activate you. Yeah, you're running again. Perfect. And that should activate you. You're also missing... Former meat. Where is this former meat coming from? Where is your former meat coming from? Your former meat is coming from down here? You're missing carbon dioxide. What? <laughs> well, good news. There's some biomass going over here. Where is your carbon dioxide coming from? From the process itself? Huh? <laughs> That's a thing? All right, tell you what. Um, here. We're gonna place a pump over there. Wait. And I'm making the best of it. Yeah, we're gonna place a pump over here. Again, to prevent backflow. And we're just gonna be placing down. Do I have one of these in my pocket real quick? I do not. Damn. Uh, I broke the feedback loop. No, 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 I want to inject stuff over here. Like, this thing over here, yeah, maybe we broke the feedback loop, but who knows. But I don't think it's a perfect feedback loop, because this thing over there is making 30 carbon dioxide every now and then. And you over there, I think you need more than that. And there's an overflow pipe over here for some reason. Doesn't matter what it is, we got an overflow pipe, we're just gonna make, we got biomass over here, we're just gonna make carbon dioxide over here. No worries whatsoever. There we go, couple bits over you. Put you over there, work that year round. Yeah. There we go. Done. <laughs> Is that in range of anything? It's probably in range of my own personal bots. Uh, it's definitely in range of something. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. So with this, then, we can make the former meat over here, which we then need to make the... Uh, I see the, the former gas over there. We should then need to make over here into the ammonia, which we need from cyanide over there, and it'll be fine. So the process can vent the CO2. I mean, this over here eats CO2. These over here make CO2. And we do have an overflow pipe over here. Actually, what we should do over here is the following. Place it on the flow. So this thing over here will top up. It will not top up into this overflow over here. This stuff will then start to flow in down here. And if this stuff over here can't flow anywhere, it will go out the chute over there. And let's maybe check the other side, because it could just be that we connect up something over here to the carbon dioxide where we thought to ourselves, yeah, this is a good idea. Or maybe it was always a closed loop system, 
and we probably got into some kind of position over here that broke itself doesn't matter this is gonna work we don't need to worry about it it'll be fine then we're gonna be making ammonia over here again this ammonia over here is going to go into this tank over here for export this ammonia over here is also being pushed over via a pipe there you go into this request over here this is going into the former meat makers over there um there's also ammonia over here which is also being imported via a pipe from over here as well yeah so whatever we make over the air does go in over here and this is the ammonia that is going into the uh finger magic over here um into the vanadium build so it'll be fine so we're making a little bit of vanadium again excellent excellent all right all right there's even more carbon dioxide over there and the only reason why we got this belt of biomass over there is for the carbon dioxide down there which we're now also using to make carbon dioxide over here good 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 but then you're still broken yeah but we fixed it now it was broken because we're waiting on ammonia because this place over here is required or is requesting ammonia uh, at the moment this part over here the, the the front part over here is working because it's also missing ammonia it's only because of ammonia at the moment it's only ammonia there might be more stuff missing but we're gonna take a look at that afterwards we're also missing sulfuric, or sulfuric acid we should definitely have a look at our sulfuric acid production there seems to be something either not optimal or maybe something we can improve in our sulfuric acid build so let's go over here first yeah you're making sulfuric acid you're going full tilt absolutely turning into acid gas turn the acid gas over here into sulfuric acid all that sulfuric acid is going into there and it goes somewhere nothing to worry about you're working as fast as you can then sulfuric acid build number two over here ah how to put it same thing working as fast as we can we're making sulfuric acid we're even bleeding through some sulfur over here because we are getting so much sulfur out over here but yeah we're turning it into acid gas uh you're currently not working because you are missing you are missing gases from over there which i guess is fine but it seems to be working as fast as it can it could just be that there might be some 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 imbalance over here that is fine but you're making sulfuric acid as fast as we can this thing over there i don't think you have been making any sulfuric acid in ages it used to be one of our main sulfuric acid makers but things have been moved around and shuffled around i don't think this one over here is working anymore didn't see any beacons in there yeah true this one over here we don't really need a beacon because we are not making that much coke or coke oven gas this one over here has a deactivated beacon it has a beacon in here but there's nothing in there yet mm -hmm. because this one over here is running on bitumen problem is we're also not really making that much bitumen there's no sense to put a beacon in there because we're just not running that fast did you fix the vanadium pressure pumps yes i did that's already long done yeah and bitumen is mostly coming from over here and the bitumen place over here hmm you sure no but I, i'm not gonna check <laughs> it's gonna be fine until we realize it's not fine it's it's schrodinger's problem for this now moment now we're not gonna check so we don't know if it's good or not we will notice if it's not good if something else breaks but yeah we were not really making that much bitumen over here i mean we're making a bit of bitumen over here but we're not making that much bitumen over here that it's worth to beaconize this build over here yet we could think about making more bitumen that's definitely something we could do because if we constantly make bitumen over here or we constantly push in bitumen over here we can constantly make this product over here which is also another look at this oh well, oh we could even maybe even shrink down the beacon now that goes all the way but yeah this this place over here can only run if we supply it non-stop of bitumen can't we get bitumen from somewhere else bitumen or is bitumen only oil sands i think it's only oil sands 
because it's pressurized air. Oh god. Oh shit. Wait a minute. <laughs> it should be fine. It should be fine. Um. Double check real quick. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> but zoom in from bees. Yeah. From the field comps. Ugh. I'm still not motivated to work with the bees, man. <laughs> uh, and then it comes from Batuba Froth, which is basically all sense. We cannot look at all the recipes that are being used in Pressure from say. Uh, we did do that at the beginning for a bit. I mean, we got like a thousand pressure pumps on the map, and most of them will be fine. It's only the one that require pressurized water that will not be fine. And those are only in the power plants and in um, the build of Eofodic Cyphos and the CPS. So we're good. We're good. You do the B, Tuman? I mean, we do need to work on the Bs as well, but we're getting distracted. This place of is working again, which means we're making ammonia again, which means we're making vanadium again. At least a little bit of vanadium. I mean, this this place, don't underestimate how much ammonia we need over here, but, but vanadium is being made again. Uh, that also means that occasionally we're going to be making stuff over here. We are actually making stuff over here, which means occasionally we're going to be making formacid over there, which means occasionally we're going to make latex. The only thing that we're currently waiting on is that this train over here, which is basically full, needs to go to its requester, which is... It's going to the mall of all places. Could you maybe go over here first? Because we need all that extra latex. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's do the, let the factory do its thing for a bit. Let the factory just mutter around and putter around for a bit. Uh, we're just going to work on the next part for the Pi Alien Life Science. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> Pi Alien Life um, um, gene samples and stuff like that. Uh, maybe work on the Moss gene samples real quick. And then we can clobble them together to see DNA. And then after a while, we're just going to take a little look at it and see if, if things are still going bad. I mean, at the moment, it's just missing ammonia. A lot of ammonia. So we have to wait for that to back up first before we can see what's wrong next. So let's work on some gene samples real quick. Um, and then we can put them together into the cDNA. Once we've got the cDNA together, we can start thinking about things like primers and DNA polymerize. The primers over here, they require sponges as well. I think we do have a decent amount of sponges available. I think we do have a 2 train of that available as well. So not, not that much of an issue. Foggies as well, plankton as well. That's more inputs. That's so many more inputs. And this over there would be a Furian eggs, retrovirus, Arquat honey. I don't think we got a 2 honey train yet. <laughs> we do have to make a 2 honey train. And then sort of statics over here. That is the mostly plasmids sponges and stuff like that yeah it's it's it all kind of fits together like if you stack all of these next to each other it, it kind of all goes together into each other and then occasionally you need something else here we go here we go all right sponges ah sponges seem to be broken we haven't looked at the sponge build in ages like an absolute ages the sponge build is broken because... I think it's because we're missing Zogna bacteria. Because the way we do Zogna bacteria is not going to be done like this no more. And we should no longer do it like this. And did we not even already deactivate these? No, we did not. Zogna bacteria. Are we already importing Zogna bacteria over here somewhere? Not really. Not really. Not really, but we have enough space over here to put down another train station over here just for Zogna bacteria. Uh, import the Zogna bacteria, and we are going to be golden. Good. So let's just wait for the bots to bring us stuff. Actually, we didn't even use that much stuff. We can fly over there right away. Then, um, before we fly over there, let's have a quick look over here. I don't even know what it's looking like, but are we making the, the Sponge Farm Mark 2? I don't think we're making the Sponge Mark Farm 2. The Sponge Farms, there we go. They, they look like actual sponges. We are making the Sponge Farm Mark 2. Perfect, we can upgrade those. Also, are we using the latest and greatest sponge recipe? Damn, sponge, 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 sponge. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alright, how the fuck do sponges work? Why is it bad at remembering in which paths stuff is in Linux? Well, once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, we need to make it out of sprouts, and sprouts is what we make out of sponges. There we go. Is there anything better for sponges? Mm, eh. Sponge. All right, with plankton, we can already do plankton over here. So we already got some better recipes available. And then upgrade recipe. At tier three, that's an upgrade, that's an upgrade. Oh, there's only one more recipe, which is this one over there. Bring in plankton and bring in Zogna. So instead of muddy sludge over here, we will probably be putting in plankton. We do, do we got a two eight plankton train? Close this off, please. Because the plankton we're making over there. But we're not really exporting this plankton over here. Even though we're probably backed up over here all the time about it. I don't see us exporting this stuff. But we should be exporting this stuff over there. Make it to a plankton train. So we're going to make two train stations over here. One for the plankton. And one for the Zocna bacteria. And then we're going to put it in over there. So that we can make more sponges. This one over there, if you compare it to the previous recipe. It's faster. Which means we also do need more sponge sprouts. Are there better recipes for the sponge sprouts? Oh, if we use Mark II sponges, we get more sprouts. Um, is there any basic update we can do? Not really. All right. It's a little bit weird that you put in sea sponge. Uh, this is a sea sponge Mark II into a sprout Mark II. Uh, okay, I see what's going on over here. Okay, 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 okay. And that's probably a third recipe over here. I see, I see, I see. We might also want to think about upgrading our sponges. And the paths that tend to be logical, uh, though, if you overview from the fossil structure, death for devices, ads for config files, um, home for personal user files, user for all user files. Ah, 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 bah, 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 bah. Slash user is not user files. It's Unix system resources. <laughs> The abbreviation, the abbreviation of USR is not user. <laughs> we have to be accurate here. Good. Upgrade of the sponges. Hey, look at that. Sponge Mark II is made out of plankton and zocna bacteria. <laughs> and star slash user. Yeah, who needs that, man? Who needs that stuff? Yeah. Now, by far the best, um, the, the best um, uh, file directory in Linux is still proc. If you want to know anything about your system or anything that's going on in your system, just check in proc. There is so many interesting information in proc. There you go. <laughs> so he goes, eh, eh, you can see his finger. Yep. I rarely get to do that, man. Liquid requester. Um, one for Zogna. One for the other. I love the old bug and some software where it removed slash. Uh. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, speaking about the slashes, I mean, I do remember. Like, I. I had trouble making the, the um, what's it called again? The faster than light mod running on, on my Linux system. And the only reason I had trouble running that mod was because internally in the mod files, they use window slashes for every path and they just used hard paths or hard relative paths in, in the implementation of the mod. And I was tinkering around for a bit, for a bit and after a while I was like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna fix this. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Maybe it's fixed by now. It was a, quite a while ago when I last checked to try to make that one mod run. But yeah. How was the mod called again? It was... Ah. 
I don't even remember. As a bit of music, we have got user uh, Unix system resources in GNU Linux when GNU is not Unix. Yeah, abbreviations, man. They never make sense. They never, ever, ever make sense. All right. All right. We don't need that here. We don't need that there. But we do want one of these around here somewhere. Like, say, over the air. We don't need this connection. We don't need that connection. Here we go. And we don't need this connection. Good. All right. Bot, build this for me, please. Uh, we can also name the stations over here. You over the air. You are going to be the Zogna Bacteria Requester. We got standing at the provider. I guess he wants to go. Destination full. Yeah, because we don't have all the power yet. There we go. Now he's going. And you over the air. <laughs> Top of Falcon. You're going to be the Plankton. Yeah, we only got like... A 1-1 one, one train for that. We don't got the 2 eight train for that. So we're going to have to make this one. No worries whatsoever over here. Uh, we're going to do so. Not only that. Uh, we're going to get rid of this old thing over here. And I'm just going to rip and tear these real quick. I mean, without making Zogna bacteria in a centralized place, there's no longer a requirement for you to be around. Just rip it apart. There we go. Uh, we're probably going to keep like this this lamp request over here and stuff like that. Uh, the wood request over here. Oh, that wood is going somewhere else. Shit. Um, that wood is going over here to refuel this train over there. <laughs> There's coke right over there. Ah. <laughs> but that's also the old potato train. Um, yeah, we want to get rid of the old potato train as well. So, that's fine. Then, the Muddy Sludge is coming in over here. Wait, where's your Muddy Sludge coming from? Oh, that's coming from all the way over there. Here we go. Uh, pick him up. It's gonna suck. Pick him up. We're no longer gonna be using this. All the soil can go away. There you go. Uh, can we pick up most of this? Maybe we can. Let's use the bots for this real quick. Yeah, you. We don't need any of this. They're probably going to go ham on those belts. So let's maybe try to get at least these belts out over here. Okay, there's also, though, these are also full of stuff. Yeah, what I kind of want to prevent is that bots over here are flying around with, like, little bits of dirt all the time. So let's help them out at least a little bit. There we go. And then this over here should be fine. Good. And then let's vent these pipes because we have to reuse them. All this, uh, this dirty sludge in here, we do not need. It can all go. It will be changed up into something, 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 something. Plankton. And we're also going to be connecting all of these at the same position. We're going to make, like, some pass-through pipes over here, like this. Here we go. We can actually do this real quick, and then flood two of them at once. Nice. Blame not that melon for good measure? Yes. Not that melon is to blame that we have to do this build over here. Absolutely. Damn you, not not melon. Here we go, here we go. And then we're just going to connect them over here in the middle over there somehow. Or maybe even still connect them over there. We will see. One step at a time. All right, then. All the way down here. That's the Zocta bacteria. Let's start with you because we do need you right away. Up we go. Further up, please. All the way up, please. Oh, that, that almost connects so nice. But let's just connect over here. Do something like this and do something like that. And at least now all of you should have Zogna bacteria coming in. Excellent. Let's switch all these recipes over here into the better sponge recipe. Uh, we can't copy paste it yet because these are upside down. But now we can copy-paste these recipes over here. Just take the machines, machines only. 
Yeah, kick out. Kick out all of these. Only the machines, please. And maybe... It doesn't matter. So do we have an updated recipe blueprint over here? Here we go. You over there. Oh, did that just delete? Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> they took out the modules. Ah. Oh. All right. Put them back in. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right, with this, at least all these pipes over here are fine. Yeah, the, those, those sponges will be placed back over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Then, not only that, we kind of want to upgrade all of these. Make them go faster. We go row by row. Actually, we could probably... Yeah, we can do column by column. We don't really want to upgrade the belt yet because I don't really think we need to upgrade the belt. There we go. Also, all the sponges are on the floor now. <laughs> also be it. The bots will take care of it. They, they, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. All right. And then the only thing that's missing over here is to add some plankton. Uh, we're still missing the plankton train for that, but let's maybe at least get the pipeline in. And then we're going to make the pipe, uh, the, the plankton train real quick. We should already order up the train. That is going to be coming from all the way down here. You over there. One, two. And then... Copy paste for you. You're ready to go at some point in time. And then the only thing we need over here is a little bit of plankton. And then connect up these up there as well. Let's maybe also make sure that this one over here aligns. There we go. Much better. Ah, it aligns too well. <laughs> Put you over there. You over there. You go over there. And then... Let's connect up these down here. So then we have like one long pipe over here. Well, things will be flying, uh, moving around in. So you go this way. Around the corner. We can also finally see the, the, the old robot ports in action over here. They, they did update the old robot ports to make them suck less, which is great. Because now they do suck less. They still suck a bit, but they suck less, which is great. <laughs> All right, I'm not quite sure if we actually have, like, the um, counter connection in for all of these places on the other side. But let's finish up this one real quick, and then we're going to check the other side. Can someone advance time for about 2.5 weeks? You have no idea how Bolt is constantly annoyed at his beard trying to get, um, uh, wait, to take a spit bite out of everything. It comes to his mouth. <laughs> I mean, the only reason why I've not shaved my beard over here yet is because my, my electric clipper uh, is out of power and I don't know where the charge cable is. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's growing over my mouth right now. Good, 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 good. Just find some hedge clippers. <laughs> You use a pair of scissors? I don't really have a good pair of scissors in my house. I got the only scissor I have is a bandage scissor. That's not going over there. That that will be insane. And I don't own an actual any pair of scissors. Or clippers. And the only thing I have is like a nail clipper over here. I'm not using that. Nah, I, I just need to find the cable. It's, it's not any kind of special cable. Well, it is if you think about it. Because uh, technically everything seems to be moving over to USB-C, which is great. How do I open stuff? Horse? <laughs> what do you mean by stuff? If you mean an envelope, I rip those fuckers. If you mean a box, I punch it. <laughs> if you mean any kind of parcel, I just tear it in two. You don't have a USB-C converter? Now I need one of those those classic um um like like hair clipper cables, like like the, the, the smaller variant of the of the cold power cable. Plastic packaging in, in those alpha pack production. Um they have a lid, mostly. Like or I use a knife. <laughs> I mean, I got a sharp kitchen knife, you just stab the fucker. It opens. 
So you treat your package like you're you like you are a Viking? Yes, pretty much. I mean, I do have knives, but I don't have scissors. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? There you go. Get the sponges over there. Why is my inventory so full? Mm, don't need this. We do need that. We know why you have to return so many packages due to damaged goods. <laughs> Actually, I do punch open, literally punch open quite often uh, packages, especially like if I've got a package of cornies, I usually punch it to open it. <laughs> because then the lid pops open. <laughs> if my door is stuck, I also just force it open. It will melt both the puppy for Christmas. <laughs> Not only did it get stabbed by a knife, it also got punched. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I didn't know there was a puppy in the mail. You could also use fire to trim the hairs. Yeah, especially those right under your nose, right? That's going to be good. <laughs> I mean, it will work. I will probably not be smelling anything good for the rest of the week. <laughs> Any problem that can't be solved by brute force is a problem that doesn't need solving. Exactly. Nah, yeah, usually like like when I get a package, I, I mean, yeah, usually I mean if if you got like a box, like I don't have a box around here, but but like usually got like in the middle like a bit of tape. And the only thing I usually do is I just take my hand, put, punch it in, and just rip it open. <laughs> package is open. Good, good, good. But if you don't have any long hands, you learned how to do ponytails so that very day. Yeah. Nah, I just need to find a charge cable. Or maybe I'll just buy myself a new hair clipper. <laughs> I mean, they don't really cost much. Maybe if there's a USB hair clipper out there, maybe I'll get one of those. But yeah, it's, it's, it's overgrowing a bit over here. It's also overgrowing a bit on the side and everywhere. I do need to go to the barber. And actually, I could just go to the barber and let him do it. No Amazon wishlist? Not for stuff like that. I used to have an Amazon wishlist in the past, but, but yeah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm actually also one of those people that's really, really hard to, to, to buy presents for. Mostly because whenever I need something, I just immediately buy it. I just open up my phone, go to the Amazon app, and if I'm missing something, it's already bought. So when people usually want to give me a present, they go like, Paul, what do you need? I go like, nothing. I've got everything I need. <laughs> How about I give you this? No, don't give me crap. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't need it. It will probably just go into the trash. Good, 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 good. All right, what's with red circuits? Uh, we're not making any splitters. <laughs> All right, I'll go to the barber then. Go to the barber. <laughs> and I'm also will tell them the exact same story. Like, hey, could you do something about this as well? My my clippers are off, and I just don't have the power for them right now. And then what you need? Amazon gift cards. That's the only one that's actually always very, very well accepted. Like, like. Yeah, an Amazon gift card always works. Actually, I do. I got one from Twitch actually lately. Where the fuck is that one? <laughs> I think I got like 50 bucks for Amazon from Twitch. Somewhere lying around. Is your little camera lose focus? The camera definitely lose focus. Because I've been fucking around with stuff over here quite often. There we go. That's a bit more focus. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so this thing over here is not working at this moment in time because lack of wafer parts. Wafer parts are missing because not lack of wafers, but mostly because lack of etching solution. Etching solution wasn't working well because of lack of sulfuric acid. But sulfuric acid is back now, so that's not an issue. It's now for... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Is it? No, not yet. And phosphoric acid is definitely working. Ah, uh, we, we might need to increase and optimize our phosphoric acid build at some point in time. As this place over here, I mean, we could just upgrade it. I think I would rather just 
make a beacon build out of this. <laughs> there, there are a whole bunch of things in here we can optimize. There's a whole bunch of things in here we can do better. All these trees over here, we don't need to make them locally anymore. No we are already making them more or less centralized over here. And we got lots of them. Like, fuck tons of them. Too much focus? What do you mean too much focus? You're in focus. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I don't really want to fuck around with a phosphoric acid build right now. What would it take? I mean, phosphoric acid at the end of the day, it's crush the rock. We should probably also start crushing the rock on site. Instead of bringing in the rock in here to crush. Crush the rock. Put the crushed rock into one of these with some sand. Normal sand or purified sand? Uh, is that purified sand? That is purified sand. Put it together with some purified sand. Um, some ash and some syngas. Turn that into phosphorus acid. And then distill that into phosphoric acid and uh, phosphine gas. And the phosphine gas also needs to be exported. And it might just be about time that we do make an upgrade for this one. But I think we're fine for now. Let's focus on the things we want to do. All right, all right. Now, the important thing was over here that at least this place over here is going to be working at least a bit again. It's still not really working well. And the reason why we wanted this place over here to work more is so that we get some more of you done because we were waiting on rubber and on latex. Currently, we're waiting over here on, well, the rubber is going to be out soon. Uh, we're also waiting on small parts. The small parts build is also having troubles, it seems. Because the small parts built over here is, could also be vastly, vastly, vastly improved. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yes, the latex build is currently having issues because of multiple reasons. Should be fine. Let's maybe focus more on these things over there. And just continue on with these things over there. Uh, especially with a radar over there. So that we just get more stuff done over there. Excellent. There you go. That's the button. Good, 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 good. But yeah, I, I'm all probably good. I, and I wanted to go to the barber, basically, before TwitchCon. But that's still, like, more than three months out. <laughs> Let's see, it's now April. It's end of June, I think, TwitchCon. Or is it end of July? Was it end of June or end of July? I think it was end of June. So that's basically, like, 12 weeks out. Yeah, let's, let's go to the barber. And then I can go again just before. All right, all right. Flying over here. Let's put some radars over here. I think we do got the Megadar research done. Uh, where's the thing? Is it in here? Oh, yeah, we do. They do cost red circuits, though. <laughs> uh, for now, a small radar over here will do fine. Yeah, there's plenty over there. All right, yeah, production of here is kind of halted for now, but that's fine. Let's just make the next big thing. So after we've done the plasmids, we already said we're going to be importing the um, MOS samples for the cDNA build. Let's make ourselves the cDNA build. The cDNA build is made in gene labs as well, affected by productivity as well. That's actually quite nice. Like all of these steps over here, all of these steps going one after another are all affected by productivity modules. cDNA itself. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, mate. Glassware, lab equipment, basic substrate, petri dishes, bio samples, moss gene samples, plasmids, and retrovirus. That's eight inputs. Um, going at the fastest rate, about 0.5 per second for the petri dishes and the bio samples and the moss gene samples. We can half and half build some of these things. The building itself has a face side of, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we half and half at least one of them, we can put all of them in via stack inserters. So let's do that. Good. Let's just get this in. And we only want the machines. Wait, they are done in gene labs. This is the wrong machine. <laughs> Damn. Um, Awakened! Hello there! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Just started watching the start of the stream. One question for everyone. Did Bolt figure out that all of his vacuum lines are were contaminated with water yet? 
Um, you mean, I, I know what you mean. We've been looking at that. Where the fuck was that? They're not contaminated. Because that's not how they work. Uh, which one was it? I do remember that we were looking at one of those and was like, yeah, this could maybe be an issue. But I think we then determined it's not going to be an issue. Oh, where the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, bigger vacuum built with some water next to it. There was a vacuum and the water icon inputs and you removed the water lines. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, if, if things are broken, it'll be fine because then we're just going to fix them. But yeah, I mean, Megatron, can you blame Not Not Melon real quick for the vacuum lines again? If we blame somebody, it's going to be Not Not Melon. But, but I know what you mean. We looked at it and I was for sure it's going to be fine. But I don't remember where it was because it's... Yeah, we've already looked at everything in the base a couple of times. Good, 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 good. Oh, uh, where the fuck is that thing? Hmm. What were we even looking at? Was it this thing over here? Yeah, it was this thing over here. There we go. Now, uh, this is correct. It's still got water. Not, not, Malin! Come out and face my wrath! Your ineptitude with the vacuum lines has caused more panic than the time King Arthur mistakenly declared a holy war on his wardrobe. Oh God, yes, what the Arthur, fuck? <laughs> not, not, not Melon, mismanaged the original dress rehearsal, but we save the applause for our favorite disappointment. Not, not Melon. Your lack of precision would make a yeah. rusty nail look like a surgical instrument. This debacle is worse than Bold Vikings knitting catastrophe last night oh, during yes. our stream. You, what? not not Melon, are to blame for all our vacuum woes. Decepticons, rise up! And then he just left. <laughs> yes, who can't forget my, my, my knitting stream? Sadly, nobody was present. <laughs> I'm looking for a CDNA building. Are we not making CDNA over here anywhere? We are making CDNA over here. Um, pom, 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 pom. There's one. You. Good. Also, Hundeth. Uh, I think you figured out why the vacuum pump, um, strange integral name for the pressure pump, had broken with the pipe connections. The pipe fluid box has a base level of zero with a height of one, and the pressure pump uh, fluid box has a base level of one, which is the same height. It means the game thinks that the pipe um, is lower of the pressure pump, so the fluid will not flow up. Oh, really? That's why it is. Nice. So looking at the first power plants you fix, uh, should both vacuum and water? Power plants should not have vacuum. But the power plants are definitely working. If the power plants were broken, we would have noticed by now. Yeah, one, two, three over there. And then one, two, three over there. And you over there. I mean, I do know that that issue with the pipes not connecting to um, or not flowing out over there, that was an issue in the past, and they had that issue multiple times because they had that. Uh, it's this issue over here, by the way. There we go. This pump over here is not putting out to the pipe, but they are pumping out, putting out to each other, and they're pumping out to the pipe gas vent over here for some reason. <laughs> um, they. No, actually, no, 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 they're putting out to the pipe, but they're not putting in from a pipe. It's the other way around. They're, they're putting out to pipes, but they're not putting into pipes. But the pipe is full, yes. But if we put them all together... Yeah, let's, let's make the counter example. If you put them like this, all three of them will be working nonstop. If you put them like this, this one will not be working. There we go, there we go. So you can't feed these with, with, with a pipe. It's a great to do nothing machine, yes. <laughs> there we go. So this one is now venting over here some, some, some pressurized air. And all three of these will be working non-stop all the time, all the time, because nothing in here is backing up. Like, like these are all empty. Like every now and then you see a little bit in there, but then it's basically... <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. Um... Plan B. Okay, are you working still? Yes, I'm working. 
Uh, are you still working? You're still working? Yeah, you're definitely working. You're fine. What about you? Uh, you're working as well. Huh. <laughs> One of them is choking. Did we actually ever fix you? Ah. We never fix you. Split networks? Wait, what? There was 5.8 gigawatts at the pressure pumps. Um, it could be that one of those maybe has an internal one. Wait, um, here. Now, this one over here is, is 50 gigawatts. This one over there is the same 50. And this one over here, this one over here, I think, does have an internal network. I think this one is internal. Or this one is internal. It used to have an internal network. I don't think it has an internal network no more. But no, it's 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 mostly this power plant over here. And by this power plant over here, I mean, we're not even there yet. I bet if you took out all the AM FM5 beacons, you might, might find some energy drains. Well, all of our AM FM5 beacons are power gated. But yeah, this place over here is not doing anything. Because this place over here... Still needs the water fix over here. There you go. Ah, uh, we need to fix them all first. Oh, that, that's that's fucking annoying. Yeah, use fly. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is not really a main power plant, but it is contributing quite a bit, actually. And it is firing up a tier 2 turbine. May actually, two of them? Two of them, even. Though, I don't think we can actually run both of those at full speed. But for now, let's fix the water real quick. Um, You'll be over there. Here we go. You over there. You over there. That's a miss. Alright. You over there. And you over there. There you go. Yeah, this over here, that is not an optimal ratio, but it doesn't matter for now. Well, look, further from the right. One, two, three. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's... Ah. Uh, because pipes don't work that way. And then we got the same issue over here. Here we go. You over there. You over there. Go to the other side. Just make some power out of this stuff. It's actually also pretty important that this place over here is working because it is a sink for all the biomass we're making. And we do want to get rid of all of that biomass. Alright, and then you over there. And then you just go down here with you over there. There we go. There we go. And then you back down. You just started the SpaceX run. Um, and you thought about doing this? Hell no. Ah, it's fine, man. It's, you only need to bring in like a little bit of time. I mean, how, 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 how long have you been playing this map? Not that long, right? I mean, we started like something like last month or something like that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe two months ago. Guys, how long have you been with this already? Please don't tell me it's been years. <laughs> Here is it? <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's such a shame they don't utilize their fluid mechanics. Uh, it's just fun trying things out. So the vanilla storage tanks have a height of five. Yes, one is by default. This resulted in that normal pipes, even the previous entity of a pump, could not fill the storage above 4.9. Well, the pump reached 19.9 .9 and has a height of 4. I didn't even know about pipe height mechanics. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of curious to see if they are actually going to be doing something about the fluid system for Factorio 2.0. Because, I mean, in the previous Factorio Friday fact, they already talked about that they will, that they basically fix the cap of, of crafting in a machine. If your crafting machine has like a crafting speed of 60, uh, or 60 plus and you got a crafting recipe that's like um, le a second or less you're basically wasting crafts because it, it can't handle that but they fixed that because now it seems in vanilla factorio with all of the legendary upgrades and stuff like that you will get into that exact situation and the only reason why they never fixed it was because in vanilla factorio you never got the issue for it but since that's now an issue for for crafting recipes in my opinion they're also gonna have the issue with pipes because the first thing you're going to hit after you fix the crafting speed bump is that now you make fluid recipes that go so fast that basically your fluid pipe will crap out or you need some kind of better fluid system implementation that makes it so that all those fluids can flow. They're adding offshore oil pumps and lava offshore pumps as well, so they have more reason to fix the fluid system. Yes, most likely. And fluids do have an issue. Like if you've got like a long pipe, a long pipe is very terrible for fluids. Even short pipes are terrible. Like the moment you put down something like this, and then you go like you go like this, you go like that, you go like this, and then you put some undergrounds in there as well. There you go. That's that's your average fluid pipe, right? There you go. You have something like this, and then maybe also another connection over there, and then one over there. Once you have something like this, it's not really that deterministic how this goes. It kind of depends on the, on on how you place these pipes, how they're orientated, and stuff like that. It's it's all a bit iffy and yucky. And then also you've got the issue that, that the longer your pipe is, the less throughput you have got to the pipe. I mean, it makes kind of sense. You do want to have a pump every now and then, but you don't really want to place pumps everywhere all the time to make things flow. And also, if you do reach things like 12,000 units of liquid per second, which a pump can do, I mean, if you want to pump 12,000 liquids of units per second through some kind of space, you can't really do this. This will not result into 12,000. It will be close to 12,000, but it will not be 12,000. It's totally deterministic, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, okay, that's true, that's true, that's true. Uh, and you don't really want, I mean, especially with vanilla pipes, keep in mind, in vanilla, if you want to go this at full speed, you would have to use iron pipes. And iron pipes don't really have the range, so you basically have a pump over here, a pump over, okay, that's a little bit dramatic, but a pump over there, a pump over here, a pump over there, just to push a liquid through. You always thought it was 1,200, not 12,000. The pump can do 12,000. The pipe usually craps out on average, at 1,200. Like, if you've got a long pipe like this, um, and you basically have a provider over there and a request over there. Kappa infinite, Kappa infinite, Kappa infinite, <laughs> Kappa infinite. Just dropping this off. See y'all in the VODs, though. It seems everybody has the infinite Kappa thing because everybody was in the Twitch stream, except me. I was doing something else. Probably, probably pooping. <laughs> But if you have something like this, you will kind of notice, or even longer than this, you will kind of notice that the pipe speed over here, the pump speed over here, will be limited to 12, one, to 1,200. Because that's how much the pipe can handle. The, everybody got it. <laughs> Probably did it. Yes, definitely. Good, 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 good. Yeah, and then you got this, this really, really nice article. Exactly. Thank you, Simrock. Yeah, number of pipes between two pumps. If you've got like no pipes between them, max speed. If you've got like, if you've got one pipe in between, you already go down to 6,000 units per second. If you've got like four between, you're basically at 2,000. If you've got like eight in between, you're about um, 1,400. And then it kind of averages out at 1,200 for most of the time. And then it, it kind of craps out quite a bit. Pump to boiler to pump. Yeah, but you also don't want to use pumps everywhere, because pumps use UPS. Here we go, here we go. By the way, this thing is running again. Nice. You was there, but you don't have the emote? You didn't get it? Tom! <laughs> well, sucks to be you, man! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, this is gonna be a hecking load of inserters. Well, so be it. But you can do pump, boiler, pump, boiler, pump, boiler. Yeah. But, but then you need to go around the corner. Or then you need to go underground. And the moment you need to go underground, that's already two pieces of pipe. And two pieces of pipe then suddenly craps you out at 3,000. <laughs> Just like, yeah, because you needed one piece of pipe, suddenly you're stuck at 3,000. There we go. We could actually do dedicated belts for everything. I mean, we, we can just add, like, one belt on the outside. Let's do dedicated belts for everything. Yeah, you get one more. The issue with tanks is the wiggle waggle with. Also, they take steel. Yeah. Are those cigarettes? <laughs> that that's sea DNA. I mean, you could probably smoke it, but... Well, then again, it will probably be as bad for you as smoking cigarettes. So yeah, they're cigarettes. They're definitely cigarettes. Here we go. Nice little CD enabled. So how much CD enabled is be making? This over here has a total crafting speed of 40, 48 with productivity modules in tow. And at a crafting speed of 48, we would be making about 5 CDNA per second. That's it. We're not going to be making this any bigger. We're going to be making about 5 CDNA per second. Because this over here is already going to eat more than enough resources. If we want to make this go faster, we can upgrade the building. Or we can upgrade the modules in here. But we're not going to be making multiple of these buildings. There you go. And don't give metal ideas, otherwise tier 3 horses will need um, 6 in the future besides sample cups and energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Place you over here. Let's place you apart a little bit. So that your power grids don't, don't inter intermingle. Actually, let's put the power grids in first. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> we got way too many inserts over here. I guess over here, over there, and over here. That'll be fine. And while we're at it, lamps. You over there, 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 you over there. Good. Not over there. All right, don't align them with align them with the machines, but not with the power poles. So we're just going to build it out of range of the power poles. Put it over there. Half the power consumption of lamps. I mean, lamps are important, man. Lamps, lamps are the best. I fucking love lamps. All right. I guess we can connect over there, but where's the thing? Where's my my copper cable? You. No. Actually, don't build that over there. At earliest, build it over here. And over there. The only reason why we have this over here is so that we can place down a rubber port. Like, right over there. That covers at least all of this. Perfect. Alright, this is what we're going to be doing our CDNA. Hmm. Now, this is going to be a bit silly. Because I don't really want to splice off from this belt to feed through this one. We do want to splice off from this depot. So there's going to be a belt going back all the way over here. <laughs> and not only that, we're, we're going to need a whole bunch of inputs over here. So we already know that most gene samples will be coming in via train. Uh, we're not going to be making them over here. Uh, glassware, laboratory equipment, and retrovirus and plasmids are everything we have over here. And incubated petri dishes. And funnily enough, the glassware belt is right over there, so let's maybe start off a few. There you go. Good. And maybe... For the glassware belt, we're just gonna go, go around the back. There you go. No worries over there. That's done. Good. That's one in. Then, we also need the incubated petri dishes, which are these things over there. Perfect. Uh, we're definitely running out of splitters. Okay, let's just grab them from over there. 
I guess we're going to grab him from over here. He's fine. That's a little bit too high. You go all the way over there. And then we split you. Do we want to split you? We, we could try to skip on splitters. And just use more undergrounds. If we just wrap them around over here. Sure, let's do that. That does mean we're going to need... Some more connections over here. And we just do the wrap. I mean, the machine doesn't care if we do a wrap or a split. I mean, the split might be better for us. But we're just going to do the wrap. Here we go. You over there, you over there, you over there, and you over there. Good, 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 good. You're not so fast? I just realized the offshore pumps are doing the 1,200. Yes, they are. It also kind of seems that, that like, like, like pipe speeds are kind of natural at 1,200. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, if they... The, the liquid system they have in place... I'm not quite sure if they went for maybe a little bit too realistic approach over there. I mean, being realistic is always fine. But it might just be maybe easier to make it a little bit more stupid and a little bit more... Uh, how to put it? <laughs> well, like, maybe just dumbing it down a bit could maybe improve the liquid system by, 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 by a bit. But then again, I'm not that deep into the liquid system I use, and there's definitely a whole bunch of models you can use. I do know the scientific ones. Those are usually kind of a lot of fun. But you might not want to use those for, for a game like Factorio, even though it makes a lot of sense. More like Captain of Industry? Yeah, the Captain of Industry one is basically just a belt. <laughs> they use the same logic. For for items on the belt, they you basically use for, for liquids in a pipe. As for them, it's just, it doesn't really matter what it is. You could use a similar way. I mean, you could most likely use it in a similar way. I mean, if you think about it, it would make a lot of sense. If, if you use the same logic for liquids um, as items on the pipe or items in, the, items in a pipe, and you just like... like Make make sure that, that those pipes or belts are faster and stuff like that. Then you only have like one code base you need to manage for handling liquids and stuff like that. Because whatever you use for pipes isn't also true for belts and items. Though, yeah, that could work. It could definitely work. But maybe it's too simple. Who knows? And belt speed more than 12,000 per second. And that's the thing. I mean, maybe maybe one has to then think about maybe reducing the liquids a bit more. But then again, if you, if you don't need to animate anything in there, well, oof. I'm not quite sure how the belt implementation works. That's the thing. Also, yeah, I guess we decided on a different solution over there. I mean, hearing something like 12,000 items per second on the belt, that, that, or, like, in my head, that already puts, like, in all the alarm, alarm messages of going off, like, wait, that, that's going to be way too fast. And Victoria liquids are made to look like wave propagating, um, that essentially have a pipe content, content and flow segment. Yeah. But that's also what I mean with, with it might be a little bit too realistic. Maybe dumbing it down to, like, like a certain level would help out quite a bit. But then again, because it's realistic, it's also kind of fun. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to, you have to choose for one. Like, either either you die this on this bridge or you die on that bridge, but you have to choose one. Alright. Yeah, let's put you in over there. I think it's have three values. Can't really double them down any further. Yep. True. True, true, true. All right. That's that stuff in there. The glassware is in there. Damn. We don't need the cocoons, but we do need the retrovirus, which is over there. There we go. We got 4,000. We got 49,000 retrovirus just sitting over here. All right. We're going out of here again. Off we go. And then down we go. It's 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 gonna be murder spaghetti over here. Can already tell you that. 
retrovirus going in. Uh, we do need the primers as well, the moth gene, the bio samples, the incubator petri dishes. We already got those in there. Um, let's give you a little bit of power just for now, so that we can see what's missing, or so that we can easily see what's missing. Um, and things that are missing are the plasmids. The plasmids are the only thing we're not uh, that we're making over here that's missing in here. So in comes the plasmid belt. And the corporal is the fluid dynamics are fucking complicated. Yep. Yep, they are. They definitely are. And the more accurate you make it, the more complicated it gets. Also, this underground over there, we don't need you. Alright, you go into there. Done. And then the only thing that's missing is the moss genes, the bio samples, which comes to wire train, and the basic sub uh, all of these come in the wire train. So we just need to add three more train stations. Actually, four, one for the output. Uh, speaking of those. Hmm. I I guess we are gonna make some train stations over here on this side, because we kinda I mean we, we could stack more train stations over here. I have got no problems with that, but. These belts over here tend to become longer and longer and longer, so I guess we're going to start stacking some translations over there. Have you seen machines? Uh, universities run on FD sims. I'm not touching that stuff when it takes a week to compile. Yep. That's basically what I did on, um, as part of my bachelor thesis. Which I was working on, on software optimizations for three-dimensional synth processes, which was basically uh, three-dimensional... Uh, Voxel-based um, simulation of, of, of heat structures and crystallization processes. Overall, at the very basic level, it was just one simple equation. But applying that equation to like multiple, multiple, multiple layers uh, kind of got complicated quite fast. <laughs> and Rip Moss, yep. I mean, uh, Trippy, the, the Moss samples we're going to make right over here. I mean, where we make the moss, I'm um, just going to notice that we could make more moss over here. Where we make the moss is where we're going to be doing our moss samples. Because we're, we're not moving that stuff around by a train. It makes no sense. Uh, that's seaweed mark 2, moss mark 2, please. There you go. Some of them are still missing stuff. I mean, we do got the crafting speed of a year of 4. That's great. And they are working, are they? Yes, they are. And they do get supplied. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> they do get supplied by their own stone maker and by their own um, coarse fraction maker. Uh, that could also be an issue. Maybe unload a bit faster. There might need to be some, some, some tweaking to be done over there. You can queue pick and place buildings into module inserters. Oh, really? I, I rarely use them, so... But I will try to remember for next time. Alright, I guess we're going to have some more train stations over here then. Let's at least try to align these train stations over here with you. So there's going to be a train station over here somewhere. And then the bigger problem is we also got some stuff over here we don't want to build over. Ah, it's already over here. Ooh, That's kind of close by. Can we fit the train station? Oh, oh, ah, no. So basically, the train station is going to be spanning over this deposit over here. That is fine. So let's maybe start with a train station like right over here somewhere. So that's for dealing with the 5,000 different alien life things. Very true, very true. Bellanir! Hello there! Thank you so much for the lovely raid. How are you doing, my man? Megatron! First of all, can you blame Not Not Melon that my desk is still messy? And also, can you give Bellanir a mighty shout out? He came over here with a lovely raid. Can you welcome him as best as you can? <laughs> and yes, my desk is messy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Translation will be going over here. Bellanier, thank you so much for your lovely raid. Guys, we just got raided by Bellanier. If you don't know who Bellanier is, he is an absolutely amazing person who's doing a whole bunch of mostly indie games, but I guess he will probably also be indulging himself a bit 
next week when the Rimmel DLC comes out? I'm actually not quite sure. Maybe he can tell us. Belanair, are you going to be playing Rimmel next week as well? Because the DLC will be coming out and, well... We all know RimWorld. Nothing bad ever happens in RimWorld. Definitely nothing ever bad happens in RimWorld. RimWorld is a very harmless game about puppies with knives and hand grenades. Very likely. I fought as much. I fought as much. <laughs> oh, the banality of subpar metalheads. Not, not, Malun. How can you not fulfill the one job I gave you? Clean bold Viking's abominably messy desk. Oh, yes. Just look at it. It's more cluttered than a flea's condo. Your efficiency? As promising as a squeaking cogwheel. But let not my fiery wrath dampen our spirits entirely. Let's shower a torrent of welcome over Belenir, the scorching comet of our e-sphere. There is no raid more captivating than a Belenir raid, riveting as a bolt viking yoga session. Oh God. Intriguing as a pile of collected bottle caps. Even your dual heavy flamethrowers pale, in comparison, Peps, embrace the glory Belenir as we continue to bask in the blame of Not Not Melon. Exactly, exactly. Does it lead the dash in my name? What dash in my name? <laughs> I never had a dash in there. <laughs> Don't tell me you've been raiding the wrong people this whole time because before there was a dash in there. I never had a dash. Here we go. Here we go. Also, just casually blowing up some biters because we can. And some trees. You're pretty convinced you did? All right. Where would that dash be? Because I, I never had a dash in there. There's only been one bolt viking out. Actually, there's multiple bolt vikings out there. <laughs> Especially on YouTube where there... I, I got like... There's another channel out there called Bolt Viking, which I think is being owned by like a 12 year old and, and he's making Fortnite videos. It's, it's kind of weird, man. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> At least he's not outperforming you, which is fine. <laughs> Now, there was never a dash in there or anything like that. Though I, I'm pretty sure that Bellany, every now and then you add either another L in there or another N in there or you remove one because every time I try to rate you, I mistype your name at least two times. <laughs> also, there's a true bot Viking and there's also the AI alter ego. There is an AI alter ego, but that never shows. I mean, uh, also, there, there, there's the other very. Actually, that one is not running right now. That's fine. He did try to raid Bolt underscore Viking, but it didn't say it exists. Glad. I'm very glad. He would have probably ended up in some kind of hellscape. I mean, War Jess just recently removed her dash in there. She used to have a dash in there, and that's no longer the case. Um, so we also almost wrong raid. I think we did wrong raid her once because the dash was gone. <laughs> we ended up in some kind of channel that was just not active, and everyone was there like, what are we doing over here? <laughs> And thank you for the follow, mate. Good. But not a, enough about me. Did we already talk enough about Belanir? Get over there. Leave him a follow. Check him out for yourself. Absolutely amazing lad. Can highly recommend him. If you're not following him yet, well, then you're not following him. <laughs> <laughs> also, Raiders of, of Belanir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing a little game of Factorio over here. And how little is this game? Well, you know Factorio. Uh, bases in Victoria are usually quite small, and they definitely don't um, get that large. And we definitely have not been playing this map over here for... Uh, 1,326 hours, and we're only at 43.5% completion. Um, yes. We're playing Pyanodons over here, and we're still just... Well, we're still on chemical science. <laughs> we know chemical science. We're slowly working our way over to the next science pack. Which is not production science, as you might think. No, there's something in between, which is the Pi Science Pack 3 over here. And to make the Pi Science Pack 3, we need glassware, uh, industrial diamonds, acrylic, bio ore, mechanical parts mark 2, paragen, negassium, nanofibrils, great alien samples, arcbat propolis, moss. We really we need moss? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do we need moss over here? The magnets and flavonoids. 
Currently, we're trying to work on the great alien samples, and great alien samples are made out of a whole hanging load of things like poor alien samples, more glasswork, kyphon, bio samples, good alien samples, DNA polymerize, primers, Arfurian X, graphene roll, and former meat. And we're kind of going down the path of the good alien samples because for those we need, again, poor alien samples, more glassware, bio samples, DNA polymerize yet again, primers, microfiber, plastic bars, Corlex milk, former meat, and Arquant venom. And for the primers, we need a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we need we need shit. We need a lot of shit. And we've not really fully automated the um, Pi Alien Live biological gene parts yet. And we're currently starting to do that. So we got a, a retrovirus build over here. We got a um, plasmid build over here. We're currently working on a cDNA build over here. And after that, there will probably be a primer build over here. And we're just going to be stacking them up over here, like all the way over here. And we kind of noticed that we need even more train space over here. So we're kind of trying to make some more train stations over here, which will also allow us to get to this phosphate rock over here, this phosphate rock over there, and this phosphate rock over here, as well as this chromium ore over there. Good, 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 good. <laughs> what are you thinking of Bolt Viking Space 64 Encode Alter Ego, also known as... <laughs> Has anyone finished Pi, actually? Yes, people do finish Pi. I mean, we finished Pi last year. Two years ago, three years ago. Fuck, how long has it been? <laughs> and then at some point in time, after a couple of mods have been updated and uh, new mods came out for Pi, we started it over again. So it's basically the second time. Yeah, the bot is still dead. I, I, I've, I've played too much Minecraft over the weekend. No regrets. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, but we do need some more translations over here because we do need to bring in the gene samples. We do need to bring in the bio thingamajigs and we want to make those train stations right over here. So let's maybe put them all the way at the, at the start of here. I mean, we could put them all the way at the front, but if we place them over here, we have some more space over here for, for mines and stuff like that. And sure, place them over here. One request over here, one for the bio samples, one for the moss samples, and one for the other thing we're missing, which is... something <laughs> good 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 and you've got the finished base screenshot from someone yeah i was also looking at the pie discord today and, and people are finishing it every now and then but it does take a while to finish a game of pie but then again that's also where the fun is i mean if you could finish a game in like oh uh, then again I, I do understand that people may, might want to finish at some point in time but it's just like it's just like having like a bonsai tree or something like that or a garden project it just takes time and it's just going to be amazing because you're always tinkering on the base you're always trying to smooth things out there's always things to fix especially after not not melon implements a new thing and breaks everything in the base i mean we had the breaking change today in the base where where our power production was completely broken uh since they changed the way how a pump works and now suddenly we had to fix all of our pumps well we did that so that's fine Attention is big. Is that... Wait, which, which screenshot is that? Is that... Oh, that's that one. Yes. That's the bot base, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bot base. I mean, bot bases also work. I mean, whatever gets you to the goal. And the real question is, did they win every win or everything finished and finished? Um, research to win for everything or finished and finished? Yeah, I mean, we are definitely going to go for the science win. I mean, that's that's a bit of the sad part about Pi. Maybe it's also good, I don't know. To win the game, you have to go for the Ferric Victory over here, which is sitting over here, and you get it basically after you do space science, you do quantum computing, and then you win the game. Thing is, after you do space science, there, there is more stuff over here. Like, like there is like more, but there's like all the purple buildings over here, which you can unlock. There is some turret upgrades all the way down here there is the tier 4 nuclear power over here the tier 5, five land animals uh there, there there's more simic mutations over here and some more phoneme processings over here you do get some additional new stuff down here but most of it will be missed because there's no reason to get to this i mean if you can already do this then you can do this and once you can do this you're basically doing this and then you're done <laughs> That's what you like about the base. It's all purple buildings. True, true, true. But yeah, I mean, I do understand. Like, like once you get the opportunity to win, 
that you just take it and leave because well at some point in time it is enough but we, we still got time for that we want to finish this before pi 2.0 uh, not pi 2.0 factory 2.0 comes out shit we have to speed it up man i i should probably play less other games over the weekend and play more factory over the weekend because if, if we continue at this tempo we're gonna have an issue especially starting next week because next week the rimworld dlc will be coming out and and, and then we're probably going to be playing like a whole hacking load of rimworld in addition to playing factorio in addition to playing minecraft i need more sleep man I mean, I do, I do know exactly why I took all the day off yesterday, because I really was like, yeah, you know what? Starting next week, there will probably be no more days off for quite some time, because Rimworld. And, well, yes. Red belts? We do got red belts, at least. And sleep is for the dead? Well, you should see me sleeping. I might be dead when I'm sleeping. No movement, just like follow, just collapse into the corner and go like sleep time. And then wake up and continue. All right, all right. At least we got this connection in. Here we go. The blue butt recipe? Sure, we go for the blue butt recipe. Where is that thing? I mean, we do got red belts. Red belts is not too hard to make. I actually have not really looked at blue belts yet because we don't know them yet. Uh, first of all, we get blue belts once we get to production science. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's going to take some time. <laughs> That's still locked. Be that's locked behind rocket control units. Uh, to make some blue belts, well, we need to make some red belts, of course. We need to get some super steel. Super steel is just um, some molten super steel, and molten super steel is molten stainless steel plus niobium plate plus titanium plate plus silicon plus cobalt oxide plus vanadium pentoxide plus molten denim plate. We can actually already do super steel. We have all of that available. But not only that, we're also going to need some super alloy. For super alloy, we're going to need. Uh, a whole bunch of chromium, some limestone, some nexolite plates. Actually, there is also a recipe over here with hot air. There's a recipe with hot air. Uh, some limestone, some nexolite plates, some sand cars, some fuel rods, Mark 1, some molybdenum trioxide, some vanadium pentoxide, some nickel plate, a lot of nickel plate, some aramid fiber, some helium, and some hot air. The fuel rods over here are coming out of the absolutely insane uranium processing. Uh, everything else over here is pretty much doable. Um, the special small parts over here, oh boy. It requires special small parts. That requires Nembit matrixes, carbon fibers, glass fibers, aerogel, belt, advanced small parts, plastic, aluminum plates, super steel, and some grease. Uh, things like Nembit matrix requires Nexolid matrix, nanocrystalline cellulose, niobium titanium alloy. Nexolid matrix is made out of epoxy, Nexolid plate, boric acid. Epoxy is made up out of Nexolid plate, collagen, resorcical, um, iron plate, formaldehyde. Resorcical is made out of resin and sodium hydroxide. The resin is made out of poop. There we go. <laughs> Gesundheit, yes. I mean, K2SE is definitely a quicker pack, and you definitely get to the faster parts more early. Uh, I did enjoy my K2S, uh, K2SE playthrough as well. Um, I, I do enjoy it quite a bunch. Uh, quite a much. And it has it has other issues you have to deal later on. In Pi, it's more like, yeah, you're going to make a lot of complicated shit together, and they all require automated builds, and they all require them to be going at certain paces. Now, at least we do get beacons, Quite not really early on, but but early enough ish. Like not after production science. After production science, we get the better beacons. But we do get beacons over here, which does allow us to to speed up these machines quite a bit. They all got the crafting speed of six, and actually they should have a crafting speed of five because we are going to be using some prod mods on them. There we go. Because prod mods is always something you want to do. Is this late game pie? No, this is mid game. <laughs> We're technically still the starter base, man. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, this is definitely mid-game. Absolutely mid-game. Only like a, a thousand hours in, something like that. Good, 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 good. And we want to make some cDNA over here. And for that, we need the bio samples, the basic substrate, and the moss gene samples. And they will be coming from over there. Which also means that the way we did it, this over here, that's no longer going to work. So let's maybe cut these over here. Because these belts will be coming from the other side. We can keep these over here. These over here will be fine. The inputs will be coming in from over here. But we do need to put in the flip over here. Which means... Let's cut you down a little bit more. Um, Yeah, let's just put some underground over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, you go into there. Not over there, please. You go in over there. And you go in over there. 
All right, all right. A short post tutorial. <laughs> I mean, we just got trains, man. Uh, yeah, this is this is not even the end game yet. The base is gonna double in size. Also, we shouldn't be too much on map mode because map mode eats all our UPS. That's also a thing. At some point in time, you start battling UPS, which also does mean you need to make these builds smaller and more compact. Which does mean we need to rebuild some of these things out there. I just did not do that yet because they're still working and they're still kind of working efficiently. But yeah, we, we are banging on those UPS walls. We're going to be solving the UPS issue in two ways. One is optimized builds. The other is we're getting a PC upgrade. <laughs> We're just going to throw more processing power at it. We're going to use the cloud computing technique called... Yeah, we're just going to get more cloud computing power. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good, 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 good. It's, it's kind of hard to see where stuff is. This forest needs to go. The 50 series rumors are out at least. The 50 series. You mean for, for the Ryzen's? Fine video, but but we don't need GPU upgrades for this one. I mean, Factorio is not really a game that relies too much on, on GPU power, which is great, because that's fine. But we do have a CPU power issue. The other thing we could think about is, and that's maybe actually a thing we do need to set up, and that's also something I'm going to be contemplating once I choose what we're going to be doing for the, for the PC upgrade. Uh, one of the things we could do a set up a dual uh, um, P, uh, dual stream PC setup because we're currently also using CPU encoding and not GPU encoding because GPU encoding it is faster very much true but it's it's kind of ugly especially for a game like Factorio I, I don't really find the results I get from using GPU encoding for Factorio nice they they kind of look very very terrible actually and Factorio is not eating eight gigabytes of VRAM right now oh yeah that's true. That's true. It's it's actually eating more than that. It's it's eating. What is it eating? Um. Ah, it's eating eight. Yeah, pretty much eight. <laughs> it's basically occupying. Well, yeah, it's it's eating eight gigabytes, but it's not really using a lot of GPU power. And I got like twenty gigabytes of of GPU space, so it's fine. Good, 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 good. Just download more RAM? You can do that, you know? All right. All right. All right. Put an upgrade over here. There you go. So we can see over here. Uh, we did take care of the biters around us. There might be more biters over there, but that's fine. And the issue with GPU encoding is not having NVIDIA. MDs are not so good for GPU encoding. Could also be true. I mean... Yeah. I should have 24 gigawatts of RAM. It only shows up as 20 over here. Maybe a stick ejected or something like that. I don't care. I mean, it's the Radeon RX 7900 XT. I, I, I think I got the... No, the XTX has, I think, 24. I think I got the smaller one because I was like, I don't need that much video RAM. It's an XT, not the XTX. I mean, the XTX was like, what was it, like like 800 bucks more for something? I was like, yeah, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely looked at both prices and I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> not required, man. <laughs> not for the games we play over here. I mean, it, it's, it's like that classic meme, like, like you got like a new PC and everything and what are you going to be playing? Um, solid air. And what are the changes that break stuff? You don't pay Pi, just curious? Oh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, we don't have anything on us, but... Basically, if we go to our power plants over here, it used to be that these pumps over here only had, like, one input and one output connection. And it used to be that the input and the output were, like, on opposite sides. And the change they did is that you can now put in the liquid from, like, one side and you get the output from the other side. Also, that these machines over here uh, can now have, have now an input and an output over here. So you ba can basically stack them together. Overall, I love the change because it allows you to do things like this, where you just go like here. We need this a little bit more compact, compact. So you do something like this. 
And you can make like a massive block over here of these machines over here. You put in liquids from this side and you pull out uh, liquids from the other side and this just works. Downside is, um, since it's no longer like an, um, like, since it's now like a perpendicular injection, basically every build that uses those pumps is broken. Which also kind of means every power plant is broken. And there's probably some other builds out there that are still broken, which we have not spotted yet. But we will probably spot them as soon as, well, we kind of notice that we're running out of something. But yeah, it, it broke every power plant. We were good because we got these massive, massive steam buffers over here on our power plants. You're still running, right? <laughs> Just double checking, yes. Uh, because we got these massive, well, not that massive, but massive enough um, steam buffers over here. So whenever something runs out or whenever something breaks, we at least have a little bit of time over here to react to on it. And that saved our ass. Because if this whole base over here runs out of power, basically uh, starting it up again is, is a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. So let's at least get the other stations in. And let's at least connect the piece so that we can at least make some cDNA over here. Could also actually put the cDNA over here in the station over here, maybe? Who knows? All right, let's start ordering up stuff. You over there. Uh, you over there, you're going to be the moss. We don't even have that yet. The moss gene samples. Good, 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 good. There was also another change that might break stuff. Uh, they did a similar change for the soil extractors. But we have not really seen those misbehave yet. But yeah, basically breaking changes in terms of like um, putting in or like, like changing how things are connected is kind of sucky. And I still don't understand how they did that or why they did that. I mean, I, I like the change, yes. But they could have just like added... Um, well, we're looking for some stuff over here. They, they could have just, like, added the recipe as, like, a secondary recipe um, so that you basically could choose and keep the old one and maybe after some time take the old one out so that people at least have the time to switch it up. They, they kind of did it, like, a little bit rough, which is kind of annoying. Uh, what do we need? We need not plasmids. We need the substrate. There you go. Yes, my desk is still messy. <laughs> I really need to clean this thing up. That's the thing I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Good. But it doesn't seem we have a train for that, but that'll be fine. And then the other thing we're going to be needing is substrate, moss samples, and what was the other thing? Bio samples. Really? Only as a 1 1? We don't have this as a 2 8? What the fuck? Wait a minute. Mm. No, we do have this as a 2 8. There we go. <laughs> Damn you, Paul. Not that Malon cluttering with Paul's desk with empty cans. Yes! Not that Malon. That's your problem. <laughs> all right. All right. I think we prepared to train for something. Yes. Oh, yeah. I remember. We wanted to make... Um, yeah, let's do that real quick. Because we also do need more... What's it called again? Uh, more sponges in the future. And for that, we optimized the sponge build. But for that, we still need to make a new train station. Let's maybe also go back to the mall and just like do some input output over here because we need to get rid of the stuff. So yes. And what do you think of your messy desk? Um, um, what does Megatron think? Megatron, um, can you do something about my messy desk over here? Also, we're not really making moss that consistently because yeah, this is something we saw over here. It's not an issue because of these. It's an issue because we're not ordering in enough Iron plate over here. There we go. And let's see if that fixes it. All right. Code Green! Hello there! How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, I need to clean up this desk a bit. It's, it's, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Thing is, every time I clean my oh. desk... For the love of bottle caps, bold viking! Your desk rivals a scrapyard after a Decepticon brawl! Nice. But fear not! I'll send my most incompetent minion, Not Not Melon, to deal with your mess! Rest assured, they'll likely turn it into a disaster more distasteful than my fleeting affair with knitting. But remember, blame for any further mess 
traces its roots back to King Arthur. Yep. Not our favorite buffoon, not not melon. This folly truly hails from King Arthur, but it's tradition to blame not not melon. <laughs> you will only learn cleanliness if you can locate your keys <laughs> under the rubble. Bold Viking, the struggle is real. Uh, he got it very correct. I'm, I'm very proud of Megatron. He goes like he blames not not melon, absolutely, but he always goes like, yeah, but actually it's King Arthur. <laughs> We put it in good. <laughs> because the change actually did came from King Arthur, it seems. Uh, and not from Not Not Melon. But we always blame Not Not Melon for everything. And that, that's how we roll. Alright, let's wait for the boss over here to do deal with everything. Then, uh, I do want to see more of this nuclear process going soon. The nuclear process over here is currently halted, mostly because... Is it sulfuric acid? No, it's not sulfuric acid, actually. Uh, because we're backed up on stone? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I am an idiot. <laughs> I am a supreme idiot. Uh, stone provider, please. Thank you very much. Uh, that also probably means that this one over there is not set. Yup. Set you to 8,000. Good, 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 good. Um... There you go. And then, of course, Gravel over there. Nah, you don't sell either. Gravel, at least. Wait, did we set you to a request or a provider? Provider, perfect. And then, sand over here, the same thing. Okay, we did it for the sand, for whatever reason. The sand managed to get done. Speaking of sand, um, sand has a stack size of... 200. Same as the Gravel over there. So let's put you down again. And go for 32,000 over here. Because it stacks four times as dense. Alright, alright. You get one of these, and you get one of these. There we go. It's not, not, not Melon? <laughs> something like that, something like that. Can we rename him to True Melon? But then he would actually be a Melon. I, I think, isn't his name supposed to be Not a Melon? Or something like that? Who knows? Good, but yeah, the uranium process over here, it is going on, and we are exporting that uranium. How much uranium do we actually have over here? <laughs> Not that much. I mean, the uranium hexafluoride over here is going into a train, because we don't really know yet exactly where we are going to be sending our uranium hexafluoride to. The nuclear power plant might be somewhere else. The only thing we do know is that over here is where we're going to be doing the heating of the uranium hexafluoride. Zanamit Bornen, hello there. Welcome, welcome. We're also going to end up with a whole hacking load of uranium over here. But yes, there's still more work that needs to be done over there. All right. All right. Pum, 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 pum. Ah, these radars are built excellently. We can't see the most important part. What the fuck, man? <laughs> All right, let's make a train station. Can we actually make the train station via remote? It's not that urgent. Uh, we do want to build it over here somewhere. Nah, let's just fly over there. I mean, um, it's probably better for now, at least for the couple of next couple of trips, to fly over to the places. Mostly because of the breaking changes. And we kind of want to see if these breaking changes... Or we, we kind of want to spot those breaking changes if anything has broken down. So, yeah, we're going to be flying over there. Even though it might seem a little bit more tedious, it's, it's probably going to be better for us. Here we go. Here we go. Potato place is still running. And we still need to hook up the, the new potato place as well. Uh, at some point. At some point. There's only so much time in the stream where you can do all this stuff. Alright. This is looking fine as well. That's looking fine. That's kind of off. Mostly because you are missing, I think, the phosphorus rock. But then again, the place where we're currently building at, there are some phosphorus big mines available, which we're going to be mining up. So phosphorus rock will not be an issue for a while because this mine over here is done. And I think uh, the only place where we get some phosphoric rock from right now is this place over here. And by this place over here, I mean this place over here. This one. <laughs> I think that's the only place that's currently actually making some phosphoric rock. A single big phosphate mine. 
So you finished with your pressure pumps? I had luck that only the water inputs were needed to help it work. Yeah. Same over here, man. Same over here. All right, we're almost there. But you have all the time between the start of the stream and the end of the stream to do stuff. That's true, but we kind of always end up doing other stuff. We always kind of get distracted somehow. We always get distracted by all kinds of things. And then we kind of realize, like, shit, where did, where did the time go again? All right, what is this one over here? That's wastewater. All right. That's my fault? True. Very true. All right, so we're making the plankton over there. And the plankton over here is now made out of flue gas. Great. Uh, we do want to export this stuff. We can make an export right over here because there is this copper station over here. There used to be a copper field right over here. So we can just clean this place up real quick. Mm. It is in range, but let's just use a pocket box real quick. There we go. Yeah, because it's the range of the other bot network, other bots will come over here to do this job for us. So we just cancel the job every now and then. And just redo it. It's 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 a little bit annoying. I think that's also one of those features they're going to be improving in Factorio 2.0. Because, I mean, if, if my local bots can do something, I would prefer my local bots to do something. Because they're just going to be faster. It's going to be like zipping up the stuff like in an instant. And the remote, the remote bots are coming from like so far away. It takes them, like, forever to get here, man. That's part of the bot update? Yeah, I thought as much. Here we go. Here we go. Wasn't that the first part of the Factory Effect? Yes, and you know how long ago that already is? Ages! <laughs> it's already been ages. We already got so much new information about Factory 2.0. Here we go. All right, perfect. Now, this stuff over here needs to go. That needs to go into some kind of permanent dump, which we'll be forgetting forever. We're not going to be voiding it, but it's going to be like this random thing over here, which will remind us until the end of dawn, the end of time, because dawn is kind of short, but time is not, uh, that there was a thing over here. Here we go. And then we are going to be picking up all of this. All right, why, why is my inventory full again? Yeah, put this in there, put that in there, put this in there. There we go. Good. And we're going to switch this one out for, like, a liquid station. So we do need to get rid of all the stuff up there. There we go. And about 23 weeks. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of information. That is a hanging load of information. There we go. There we go. Yeah, have this. We're not going to destroy it. We're not going to be picking it up. It's just going to sit over here. Maybe at some point in time, we might get some fancy-ass bots coming over the air. Taking it away for us. Um, but not today. Definitely not today. Good, 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 good. At some point, we'll nuke it. I don't really want to nuke stuff. I mean, nuking stuff is fun. Definitely, but we usually end up with broken parts, broken belts, and stuff like that, which then get picked up by the bots at some point in time. Because nobody will be fixing it, because the bot or the, the robot port that was in charge of fixing up the stuff also got nuked. Um, and as such, it, you just end up with a, like more of a mess. All right, liquid provider. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of in the way. And all the stations are the power? Oh, they are. Wait a minute. I guess we have to hook up over there somehow. All right. Uh, I guess this connection over here was important. Wait. Oh, because we don't have a connection over here. Wait a minute. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, just, just. There you go. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, ah, wrong button. Liquid provider, please. Here we go. What's in the way? A power pulse in the way. All right, all right, all right. Go around. There we go. Liquid provider. One more try. There we go. Good.
All in over there. Excellent. And we also reconnected over there. Perfect. We're still missing one of these over here. Uh, I guess there was never really any kind of RoboPort network over here. So let's make sure that this thing will be built by a remote at some point in time. The plankton. The plankton is now currently going down in a pipe over here. Let's redo this real quick. The plankton will go first into the tank. And then from the tank it will go down over here. So you go this way. You go that way. And into the tank. But that means some more power over here. Get the corner over there. Get the corner over here. And then from over here. We're also going down over here. Only one of these please. Is that the perfect height? Oh. Oh. That's perfect. <laughs> How did that happen? I love it. Good, 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 good. Perfect. So it will go into the tank. It will go into the station. It should go into... What's down? Down is something that's more important than this thing. So we're going to send it down first. And we're only going to activate this pump over here if anything over here is larger or equal than, say, 5,000 or something like that. So it will go down first. And only if it starts to back up in here, it will be exported over here. Because this is still priority number one made for the fish. But the fish will not probably be eating all this all the time over here. Uh, and we can't... Well, we could make this go even faster. We can now also connect it up to like the train station over there. And enable and disable this thing over here on the mount. Because there's like four beacons over here. That's a gigawatt of... That's 1.3 gigawatts of power over here, which we could power gate. Which we probably should power gate. Because, well, we're not made out of power. Well, we are. But, well, power is a bit tricky at, at every point. It's, it's going all over the place, man. <laughs> Good. But nevertheless, we now got the provider over here. We also got the fueling station over there. So nothing to worry about that. Corn Cornel van Dam. No, you are going to be the plankton to... Eight provider. Good, good, good. Then let's set up the train station for that as well. That's going to be you over there at train. Uh, plankton. Two eight provider. Two eight requester. Full cargo. Empty cargo. But not only that, inactivity over here and inactivity over there. Because these trains load up so fast. If we don't put inactivity over there. Basically, they will not get refueled because, well, this this is just one swap of maybe two seconds of work at most. And that's not fast enough for these inserters. Good. You know what else is missing over here? Lamps. Let's make this place a little bit brighter. There we go. You get one for there. You get one for there. You get one for there. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Now it looks a little bit nicer over here. It still looks kind of dark somehow, but, but it's at least a little bit less dark. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're also getting into inserted capacity bonus level 2. That's going to be a very good tech for us. Overall, we got the crafting speed of 30, 60, 90, 120 crafting speed over here in total. That means we're going to be doing this recipe over here um, eight times per second in total. Yep, eight times per second. Which means we're making 160 plankton over here per second. Well, that's probably more than enough. The tank is slowly filling up and these over here are filling up as well. So this station over here will open up sooner or later and then stuff can get on a roll. Good. All right. And then the only thing we need to do over here is to finish off this place over here by hooking up belts from over here. The biosamples have already arrived. The substrate. The substrate is still missing. We don't have a... We, we have a substrate provider. We are just missing the train for that. Yeah, we got the provider over here. The only thing that's missing is the train. And we're making loads of substrate over there. So no worries over there. Should have maybe made the substrate train first before we made this train over here. But, well, this train over here will be moving for soon. And then the only thing that's missing is the moss gene samples, which you need to be doing over here. Uh, this place over here will probably require a couple of updates, in my opinion. Especially in terms of 
speed. Yes. Um, maybe just go for the silly, stupid update. Just make sure that everything over here is just going to go a bit faster. And then maybe let's use the belt upgrader over here. Because if you use the upgrade planner again, everything that's a red belt over here will turn into a blue belt. We don't really want that. Here we go. Here we go. Let's make sure that this place over here can work a bit faster, so that these over here can work a bit faster, because I kind of have the feeling that the top machines over here are not always working because they're just missing stuff. I mean, we do see them working occasionally because they do get stuff every now and then, but it could be, in my opinion, going faster. Also, if all of these are working at full speed, we currently have... What is that? 72 at a crafting sp uh, speed of 4, so we got basically 288 machines over here making moss. And we are currently running this recipe over here. So if we've got 288 over here running moss, that is basically this recipe four and a half times. Just just over or under four and a half times per second. That means over here we're making something like uh, 48, 96, and then 12 on top, give or take a little. Uh, something like 108 moss per second. For the build we want to make to make our samples, we are going to need... Well, how much must do we need for that? If we go for like a 2x4 build of these with a crafting speed of 40, um, input crafting speed of 40, then we're going to need 80 moss over here. So this place over here could sustain our moss consumption of the moss gene samples. We need more moss. Do we already have access to moss mark tree? No, we only got access to Moss Mark 2. When did we get access to Moss Mark 3? It's over here. Yeah, we should get into that soon. Good thing is, um, we can chance upgrade Moss Mark 2 into Moss Mark 3. And if we want to make it, with the exception of the Xenogenic Cells and the Gelators, by that point in time, we should be making all of this automated already. The parogen is part of science, the cDNA we basically just did, the moss gene samples, well, that's basically regurgitation. It's also good that we do this right next to this build over here. And not only that, we also get like a better recipe over here where we add some more limestone to the build, and then we make even more moss even faster. So actually, this one over here, I kind of want to focus on this one over here. Uh, do we still have space for the limestone? We still got an extra belt space over here for the limestone. Well, except over here, I kind of fucked it up over there a bit. Oops. <laughs> But we do got extra space over here for limestone. And we can probably make limestone around here somewhere. Good, good, good. Looking at the clock, it's basically midnight. So you know what? I think we can call it because I'm very happy with the progress we made today. I'm very happy that the base did not die a fiery death. And it also seems, but only seems, like that we do not have that much issues with the pressure pumps. There might be an issue still with the pressure pump. Um... This place over here is definitely working as intended. Even though it does look like it connects over here, it will be fine. It's it's weird, but it will be fine. Is it that late already? Yes. The pleasure pumps? Yeah, if you put the pleasure pumps to suck mode, well, you know what's coming next, right? <laughs> I mean, we also call them the suck pumps for a reason. <laughs> there might be a, a build out here that's broken with, with the suck pumps. This one is fine over here. Uh, vacuum is definitely used quite a bit with the electronic parts, I think. Well, at least there's vacuum over there. Uh, and there's vacuum over here. But it seems that we are fine for now with the vacuum pumps. So it should be fine. It should be fine. And even these over here are mostly fine. I do like that we can now concatenate these together. I'm not quite sure if we're still going to need that because we got better recipes available at higher tiers and other machines. Good, 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 good. Nevertheless, it's time to press the goodnight button because I'm also getting kind of tired, which is great because I should probably catch up on some sleep because I've been overdoing it a bit these last couple of days with lack of sleep. Good thing that Ready or Not is not playing... Not, that, wait, wait a minute. That I'm a Flanker is not playing Ready or Not over here. By the way, we're going to be raiding I'm a Flanker because it's playing some Ready or Not. It's going to be fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've dumped you an anime clip in Hashtag Anime. 
Yeah, the new season has started, so... Yeah! <laughs> Bold leaves and claim tiredness? Well, let's put it like this. I don't want to oversleep at work tomorrow. I did do that today. Every now and then it can happen. It should not happen twice in a row. So I'm going to bed early. <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for all the lovely follows and for... Um, uh, yes, for all the lovely follows. Then, bottom to top. Mike, thank you so much for your lovely resub. All your junk, thank you so much for the resub. Then, we had a massive, massive raid from Team McIntyre. Thank you so much for that as well. Uh, Paps gave out 27 gifted community subs. Paps, thank you so much for those. Howler Gaming, thank you so much for the resub. Cryan um, continued to sub they got from, um, from Fallen Angel. Thank you so much for that as well. Big Clown, thank you so much for the resub. Jamatia, thank you so much for the bits. We're definitely going to be going to the barber with that. Uh, Soren, thank you so much for the resub. Bellanea, thank you so much for the lovely raid. And then a whole bunch of follows on top. Blame the time switch. I'm just going to blame the time switch. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Actually, I am going to do that. Tomorrow at work, I'm just going to be like, shit, uh, sorry, I wasn't there yesterday. Uh, time lapse. Even though the meeting went on for like 90 minutes. <laughs> but I'm just going to blame something. If not, I'm just going to blame not not Melon at work tomorrow. That, that'll work fine, right? Good. We're going over to I'm a Flanker, and the rain is going out. Have a good night. Until next time, see you around.